Snoop, everything yeah, right. That's fine. We're good now, Snoop. <clears throat> doing that honestly yeah, it wasn't too hot was it? <laughs> uh, first mess up that's Jim McKay <clears throat> maybe Australia's na national anthem has just been played. The players stood around the VFL emblem, which you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, as did the umpires. And uh, then there was a gap of some 10 seconds. The players broke up, as did the umpires again. And somebody decided to play God Save the Queen, which was rather embarrassing for all concerned because the players had uh, spread in all points of the compass. However, one of those things that uh, I'm sure we'll get ironed out in the future. At the official luncheon this afternoon, the guest list read like a who's who of Australia. The president of the Sydney Football League, Sir James Hardy, incidentally, was made a new director of the, uh, the South Melbourne Club, or the Sydney Swans. And also in attendance, Lady Fairfax, Michael Ledgley, representatives of Wards and Kentucky Fried and uh, Speary Univac, South, uh, South's new sponsors. Uh, the president of the Victorian Football League, Dr Alan Ayler, Jack Hamilton. The former governor of Western Australia, Sir Hugh Edwards. The chairman of the STC, Sir Clive and Lady Kennedy were present. Keith Miller, uh, Keith Miller. Graham Kennedy, Jimmy Hannon, and Sir Billy Snedden. So, uh, as I said, it's a bit like a who's who in Australia at the official luncheon this afternoon. Almost ideal conditions for football, Bob Skilton. Virtually no wind, although a little bit on the humid side. Now, you couldn't ask for more, but if this rain just keeps drizzling, it might be, make the ball a bit slippery. But it looks as though at the present stage it has stopped and uh, there'll be no excuses uh, in any way. Robbie Flower, the Melbourne captain, has won the toss and will be kicking left of screen. As I mentioned, one change in the Swans lineup. Anthony Danaher coming into the side. He's number 19 and replaces Barry Beecroft, who was injured at training on Friday night. I noticed that uh, Giles has got a full back on uh, Roberts and uh, Smith, who was picked in that position, is back in the back pocket there, uh, Bob. <laughs> First quarter between the Sydney Swans and the Demons from the Sydney Cricket Ground. Umpire Kevin Smith coming in to bounce the ball. Not a high bounce. Keenan doesn't get it too far. Reese Jones short up towards half forward and the mark taken by Robbie Flower. He was certainly in magnificent form in the night game against Hawthorne last week at VFL Park. Here's a chance now for Cordner. He overruns the ball. Carter's down there. Can't pick it up. Likewise, a real scrimmage developing and umpire Kevin Smith has decided once again to come in and ball it up. It's at the full forward position. Well, big pack of players around the ball. Round, Bradler medalist of last year contesting with Cordner. In fact, they both missed that one. I think the very spongy turf here at the Sydney Cricket Ground will uh, necessitate a few low bounces.
uh, smaller ground is to go straight down the center. Pack oh, there's a push in the back, but the umpires played that. It'll go uh, to uh, to South Melbourne, and it'll be to uh, uh, Morwood. That is Paul Morwood. The kick is out wide now. A chance of hand pass coming over to South Melbourne. They go back to attack. A good hand pass coming over there from uh, Carroll. Up she goes there. A hand pass again. There's a chance now for Evans to break clear. Fumbled a bit, but got it out to Ackley. A snap for goal. He's got away from the back pocket. Roberts flies, couldn't hold the mark, punched out by Smith and the ball is out of bounds. Out of bounds about 25 metres around from the uh, South Melbourne goal. Melbourne a one point to South Melbourne yet to score. It'll be Crackers Keenan to go for this knockout against uh, uh, Allender. Allender flew oh. very high, got into Crackers back, but the umpire didn't pay the free kick. Ick was grabbed when he didn't have the ball. And Stephen Ick, the ex North Melbourne player takes the free kick. The ball finally delivered out there towards Reese Jones. He flies, couldn't hold the mark. Another scrimmage. Pretty tough play at the moment. The Sydney crowd is certainly enjoying it. Uh, they're really joining in the chorus as we wait now for the umpire to bounce the ball on the wing position. Grabbed by Barry Round. A bad kick. Finally, it's picked up here uh, by Melbourne's uh, Batterston, but not a good hand pass. Another scrimmage. By golly, it's uh, scrambly play as we see O'Sullivan go down. Gets one in the back, and O'Sullivan takes the free kick. Uh, for Melbourne on that half back line. And one thing I've noticed already the crowd certainly pro the Sydney Swans as the free kick going Melbourne's way towards left half forward. Cruz on the bottom of that stack up looks for round finds him but the handball goes astray. Wilson gets it to Batterston he's offloaded as he kicks the ball it's out of bounds on the floor maybe a free kick downfield we'll wait and see or is it going to the Swans no it is and the free kick going to the Swans and taken down there by Ackerley Ackerley's kick back towards centre field right number 26 to round and a good balk by the big guy Paul Morwood is at center field half full Roberts overruns the ball Giles good handball or well, maybe it wasn't quite so good right Reese Jones Gaunt high in towards the center circle once more plenty of Melbourne players are there they all missed it Jarrett was the main offender the chance now for Browning, one of the real class players in the Swans lineup. Browning a long shot at goal, just off target, and it goes through for one behind. That levels the scores, one point apiece in the first term, which has been in progress now some four and a half minutes. Stephen Smith. And that's a good mark, brought in by Kelly O'Donnell. O'Donnell between the back pocket and the half-back flank. O'Donnell now kicks the ball out towards that wing position. In front is Crosbull, gets up high, but Cruz is on his back, kicked off the ground that time by Melbourne's Healy, and the ball is out of bounds, right on that uh, centre wing position. One point apiece. Very humid here at the Sydney Cricket Ground, pushed out by Keenan. Morwood got a fumble that time, that's Paul Morwood, and once again, we see another stack up. Very scrambly play at the moment, Bob. I think it's because of that uh, slight dampness that the rain did cause, Lou, and the players taking a little bit of time to adjust to those greasy conditions. There's the ball knocked out by Barry Round. A chance now again. This is uh, 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 Carroll. That's Dennis Carroll going for the kick up there, but Giles in front of uh, uh, Roberts. That's John Roberts and a good bit of defensive play on the part of the Melbourne fullback. He's a very solid player, this guy. Kicks the ball high. Back there towards Keenan and Round. Round got the tap down to Dennis Carroll again on the boundary line. Picks it up, nearly out, but the umpire said OK. It's finally picked up by Hounsell. The kick is long. Roberts at the back. Fozzie there. Can he mark it? Once again, it's Giles bringing it down. That's twice in a row he's defeated the South Bull forward. I like this fella's style, Bob. He's a good player, Lou, and uh, great courage. Even though he's uh, in a bit of trouble at the moment, I'm sure you'll find Giles up on his feet before too long. That's Batterson driving the ball around. Flying high. That's a beautiful mark to James. James would be about 40 metres out from goal on a slight angle. Decides to go for a pass, drops it short. Ball pushed out of the pack away from Morwood that time, and the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to uh, South uh, Melbourne's Batterston. Batterston was the Morris medal say, winner last year. Goes out wide. Crackers Keenan. Is that the lemon wins job? Has he I think practice? he has. It's getting lighter all the time, isn't it? I must ask him about that next Saturday morning. 47 is Jarrett wearing the same number that he wore for many years at North Melbourne. Jarrett to the point of the square. There's a nice old nudge out. Browning made it look even better than it was, and Browning to take the free for the Swans at centre half back. 
Mark Browning, as I said, one of the class players in the Swans lineup. Oh, beautiful fly by uh, Robbie Flack. Just couldn't complete the mark. Knocked away by Stephen Ick. In towards centre field again. Batterston, a useful player in the first quarter. Rose on the third line. Picks it up well from an awkward bounce. The short pass, perhaps all directed. James to Hounsell. Hounsell lines them up or attempted to. Robbie Flower, that was a good tackle. He's in the pocket, screws it back. That's not a bad goal. Oh, great shot. Did not hit the post. It's a goal. So the first goal coming up to the Sydney Swans and 1-1-7 to Melbourne. One behind, one point in the first quarter. Tell you what, Peter, was that close. It didn't really matter. Melbourne players are not too happy down there, either. Hit the post, all right. <laughs> Well, I think the rule is if it goes through and then swings back, if it goes over the line. We watch on replay now as Colin Hounsell, right from the boundary line, screws the ball back. Goal umpire, well, right underneath, coming back. And uh, I think he may have hit the back of the post, so that's what the rule says. And welcome back to the Sydney Cricket Ground, where Melbourne have had a pretty quick reply through O'Sullivan. And so the score is now on the scoreboard. 1-1-7 apiece. Scores all tied up in the first quarter. Free kick going the Swans way, I believe. It will be taken by last year's Brownlow medalist Barry Brown. Brown just short of the centre. Council almost got caught. Wilson, good tackle and smother, shoots the ball out towards O'Donnell at right half forward flank. Puts it deep into attack, looking for Cordner, who has the ball punched away from him. There's Batterston again, a very busy player in the early stages of the match. Wilson got an elbow, the ball was play on. Gets ridden into the ground and will get a free kick. Yeah, that was an unbelievable play by Barry Round before. He put Colin Hounsell in all sorts of trouble. Well, why Round did not kick the ball, I cannot believe. Well, I thought umpire Kevin Smith was adjudicating a free kick. He seemed to indicate a push in the back. Not so, it's a ball up. Ball up there on uh, Melbourne's half four line. Finally cleared away that time by Danaher. A long kick out there going after the Zick and a good mark out there a little short of the uh, half back line up towards the centre wing position for uh, Melbourne. Well, still a pretty close game. We've only been going about ten and a half minutes, but the ball tapped to the ground now. A chance there for Ackley to pick it up, but Batterson doing a good job. But the umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Batterson, grabbed too high. Round the back of the neck and Batterson to take the free kick at centre half forward. About 45 to 50 metres out. I don't think it'll be 50 metres actually. Waiting for uh, Batterson to uh, fire at goal. Been in the thick of things from the very word go. Jarrett in front, punched away by Danaher again for South Melbourne. The ball is out of bounds. In. Um, Melbourne's forward pocket position about uh, 30 metres around from their goal. South Melbourne, one goal, one seven points to Melbourne, the same score. Ball cleared away by Ackley again. It's a bad kick and a good mark taken there by Robbie Flower. Oh, he fumbled, but he recovers OK. Gets the ball out to Zantuck, put him under pressure this time. And he goes out to correct his mistake again there, Robert Flower. He's got blocked by Smith, grabbed a bit high by uh, Reese Jones. Right. He can't get clear. Wright's a little terrier as the ball finally comes out there to Browning. It's pushed out to the wing position again. And a bit of a scramble going on again as we find the ball hand passed by uh, Reese Jones out to right. He goes down. They're falling over like nine pins. Finally a wild hand pass coming back to the half back. Oh, look at that for a tackle by Norwood. And Gorge kick is a short one. There's a free kick. It'll go there to uh, to Ick on that half back line for Melbourne. The crowd not too happy about the decision. Well, I think there were a, a couple of free kicks there. Anyway, Laurie, uh, Stephen Ick comes out with the free eventually, and here's another one to Melbourne, this time going to Wilson. So two North players in the thick of things in that passage of play, and that's a good pass. Mark taken out there by O'Sullivan, who kicked the first and only goal for Melbourne so far. Or is it Johnson? It is Johnson, number nine. Well, it looked like number six when he was standing upside down. 
should put a cross under his name. <laughs> <Pete Bury. laughs> 35 metres out. He hasn't made any mistake either. I don't think he's put it through for four points, and that's Melbourne's second goal. Kicked by Johnson, and the score is Melbourne 2 1 13, South uh, Melbourne, or the Swans 1 1 7 points. Well, the Swans have had most of the attacking so far in the first quarter, but they haven't really been able to capitalise on their opportunities up forward. Melbourne doing well with a couple of players, especially uh, young uh, Batterston, number 16. He really has been a star player for them so far. Five kicks on the board. Bounced down at the centre by umpire Soares. Keenan gets the tap down, albeit a short one. Fashini, haven't seen much of him to date. Dennis Carroll gives it to Round. Rounds kick up towards the half forward line. Allender going out with Stephen Smith. Allender in front, but grabbed when he didn't have the ball. And Allender will take the free kick for the Swans at left half forward. This is Allender to give uh, South Melbourne a chance now. Driving the ball up there, looking for Roberts. He's in front. He flew high, could hold a mark. A hand pass coming out for Jarrett. Over there to Gaunt. And uh, Melbourne in a bit of trouble as they pull over left. That's Gary uh, O'Donnell trying to get clear. Finally picked up by Tony Moore. What a snap for goal. But uh, South off target and through for one point. So uh, we'll see the score now. South Melbourne, one goal, two eight points to Melbourne. Uh, two goals, one 13 points. Waiting uh, for Giles to bring the ball back into play. Well, the crowd hasn't built up much more than we said before, around about the 10,000 mark, but it's pretty humid here. It must be pretty hot out there for the players. Oh, good play on the part of Brackett, but he's pushed Barry around fair square in the middle of the back, and the umpire spotted it. And there'll be a free kick to Barry Round out there at half forward for uh, for the Swans. The kick up there towards Allen. He's got a sit here on his own. Oh, dropped the centre. Picked up by Pashini on the boundary line. Has a snap for goal. Not a bad sort of a kick. But it's off target again and through for one point. So South Melbourne having a bit of trouble up there. One goal, three, nine points. To Melbourne, two goals, one, 13. Midway through the first quarter, some 15 minutes gone. As we wait the kick in from fullback to be taken by Stephen Smith. Smith puts it in short. No mark paid. It will be a free kick, though, I think, going Melbourne's way. And it will be taken by Johnson, number nine. Swans trailing at the moment. Gaunt takes the mark in front of Danaher. And he'll get a 15-metre penalty. Gaunt from the right half-back flank to put Melbourne forward. Plenty of distance in his punt kick. Cruz couldn't take the mark from behind. Tries to pick it up in front of Croswell. Not having much success. Eventually, Paul Morwood wins out. Morwood's high kick up towards the centre wing area. He'll be free kick. Or Croswell will be free kick. To get the terminology correct. And the Swans to take the free run about centre wing position. Morwood. Looks down there for Silvio Pacini. Couldn't find him. Jarrett overruns the ball. Max James doesn't. Goes for the short pass. Bernie Evans accepts it. Evans is at centre half forward. And the Swans need a goal at the moment. Trailing nine points to 13, a difference of four in the first term. A fairly low scoring affair for this relatively short SCG. Evans' has kick, I think, off target. Yes, one behind, says the goal umpire. And that makes the difference now three points, one four to two one. 13 plays 10 in the first term. And once again, Stephen Smith to do the kicking in. I don't think either end really favoured by any breeze. Morwood, great grab. Tony Morwood at left half forward, about 60 metres out from goal. Has a chance to put the Swans deep into attack. Landing just off the edge of the goal square. Oh, he missed a simple one before, and that really was a spectacular mark. Stephen Allender, former Port Melbourne player. And wasn't that a great mark as we watch it on the replay? Big pack of players. He's in the 10 metre square. Fires, puts it through. Just one to Great mark uh, by uh, Stephen Allender there. And uh, well, the South players there really coming to Stephen Allender and let him know just how they felt about that because they did need a lift at that stage. Up forward, they were a little bit uh, ragged, uh, just showing no real uh, cohesion up there. And uh, they didn't look uh, an attractive proposition up to now, Lou. Certainly didn't. Melbourne have had uh, look more depth in uh, attack. Seven and a half minutes gone of this first quarter. And uh, South Melbourne in front. South Melbourne 
2-4-16 to uh, Melbourne 2-1-13. The ball at centre field again. Punched out that time by O'Sullivan. But there we see Batterson grab a little bit too high. And Batterson of Melbourne will take the free kick. Been a pretty uh, active player. Good pass out there to uh, Wilson. Goes to play on over to Gorn. Another hand pass coming over to O'Donnell. In a bit of trouble. A bad hand pass. And finally we see South, South take the ball away through uh, Dennis Carroll. Back out wide. It gets under it, uh, couldn't hold it, a chance now for the ball to be cleared by Zantuck. A long kick up there towards that half-forward flank. Coming out the meet it is Browning, also Healy. He's got two against him. Oh, fully <laughs> against Ackley, but the umpire said play on as he tripped up uh, Healy. Got the ball clear for the Swans, and a good pass out there to Smith. Now it's Smith's kick, a bad one there into the forward pocket. Coming in to meet it is Smith, right on his back is Allender, but Smith won't give in there. Allender goes after it again, it must be pretty slip. Got one around the neck. And Allender will take the free kick in the forward pocket for the Swans. And he's already kicked one goal. South of the uh, two goals, 2-14, two, two goals, 4-16 to uh, Melbourne, 2-1-13. It's the kick by uh, Allender up there in front of the goals, but punched away by Keenan. Going after us, Bashini and Zantak. Bashini gets a kick. Umpire said uh, that Zantak pushed him in the back, and Bashini will have a chance to score a goal. Healy off for Melbourne. Healy off the ground for Melbourne. Waiting now for Faschini. A very smart little player. Now named as first rover for Melbourne. He certainly climbed the ladder pretty quickly. There's Roberts at the back of the pack for the Swans. Couldn't hold the mark. And uh, they move on now to two goals, 5-17. To Melbourne, 2-1-13 as we approach the 19-minute mark of the first quarter. Waiting on uh, Smith to bring the ball back into play for Melbourne. Goes for a short pass. It's OK. And a mark out there to Robert Flower. Over to O'Donnell. A long kick out there towards the wing position. Flying high was Croswell. Now going out to for, uh, the, uh, for the Swans' is, uh, Cruz. In a bit of trouble. Grabbed by the jab. The umpire said Plane was a bit lucky that time, I reckon, Robert. He's Free kick. against him now for putting it out on, on deliberately. OK, you're, that's right. <laughs> Alan Jarrett to take the free kick. Is he handballed that straight over the line? Not too much doubt about that decision. And a correct one by the umpire. Cordner flies in front. Jacko behind. Does a board, which was unsuccessful. Picks it up on the rebound. Off target. One behind, says the goal umpire. That was Jacko's first touch for the match. Having a few words to anybody that'll listen. Scores 2-2 two, to two, two, 5. The Swans in front by that margin in the first term. Reese Jones, nice mark. Took that pretty well, didn't he? Bernie Evans, short pass. Smith, right half forward flank for the Swans. Going goalwards. Gordon won't catch him. Lines the mid from Sony. Far. Grabbed him. Well, that was a shame. I didn't think he'd run too far. I've seen players run further without being penalised, and all you can say is what a shame. <laughs> well, we'll have to get him. We saw that happen yesterday yes, too, right. uh, Peter, with one of the uh, Geelong players. Well, as I said, though, I've seen players run a lot further and not be penalised. That's a great mark by Barry Round. Took it over the top of Packers Keenan. Oh, bad hand ball, or actually couldn't accept it. On the rebound, Elshaw rides him into the ground. Could be a free kick. Yes, it is. And Ackley now to take the free kick a little bit short of centre wing. Ackley's kick is across to the Swan centre half forward, because that's James flying high. The umpire said he got a nudge out that time by Ick, and uh, James will take the free kick out there towards the half forward flank position, about 55 metres out from goal. A lead coming in here now. Oh, beautiful. That was a great mark that time by Roberts. A beautiful mark. And we saw him do that a couple of years ago. A little bit uh, flat last year, but back to his top form of that mark. Watch it in replay. This is Roberts coming in uh, for his first goal. There's the kick. Let's see what happens. It's a goal. So South Melbourne at 3 5 23 to uh, Melbourne 2 2 14. Well, set. Yeah. Certainly a top uh, mark though by John Roberts, um, but uh, too often he does come from behind. And Glenn Giles and Roberts, it could be a very good duel there today between those two players, but there was no doubting that one. Roberts, uh, a firm grip of the ball, and one uh, grab, it was a great effort. Twenty two minutes gone in the first term. Centre bounce again. Comes down to Crackers, gets a short kick, picked up by Hounsell, back to Smith, a hand pass coming out wide, the ball driven away by Cruz for the Swans, 
up there to Flair. And now it's Smith. A great mark by Smith. Goes for a quick hand pass out there to Batterston, who's been a pretty uh, handy player today for Melbourne. Ball on Melbourne's half forward line. Cruz in the van there, can't get clear. They're still going over left and right. Must be still pretty slippery as the ball's knocked on by Browning. Batterson goes down again. There's a O'Don uh, O'Sullivan flying in there for Melbourne, but the umpire's going to ball it up on Melbourne's half forward line about uh, 50 metres out from their goal. Melbourne at the moment are two goals, 2-14 to the Swans, 3-5-23. Uh, out he goes again. There's a chance now for... Uh, God, he was caught at Ingworth and the umpire said it's throwing the ball against him and the free kick will go out there to Evans. He was pretty fast at Ingworth, but he just couldn't get clear on that occasion and Bernie Evans now going for the short pass to Browning on his own nobody within about five or six meters long kick by him up towards full forward mark spilt by giles back and turn to ick zantuck short pass wide picked up by gaunt right on the boundary line then he ran into reese jones i don't think i'd fancy doing that and the ball in the meantime over the boundary line right on the center wing position in front of the brawongal stand got it right <laughs> i did <laughs> surprising <laughs> throw in round in picture Keenan beats him to it. Down to Gaunt. Good tackle. Oh, getting offloaded down there was O'Sullivan. And a pretty hefty bump it was too. Reese jones again. Good handball. This time picked up by Allender, who took that screamer before. Santuck at the back. Spilt the mark. Giles looks for the handball to him. It's effective. Ick breaks clear. Puts in the short one. Reese jones fine mark. That was a good grab. Crowd here certainly appreciating the efforts of the Swans so far, and they certainly are uh, getting right behind their home team, as it were. Batterston, the Demon's best player at the moment, in my book anyway, down towards the centre wing position again, and the mark is taken down there by Brian Wilson. Trying to get clear. Smith wasn't having any of that, but he's been penalised 15 metres, I thought, harshly. Wilson, short pass. So Sullivan nearly made a mess of it. Puts it high towards full forward. Jacko has two opponents. Up he goes. Can't bring down the ball. Carter. Was it Cruz? Smith. Oh, hit him on the head. Going through. Wilson. Well shepherded by O'Sullivan. Right collects him. Ellingworth fires at the goals. Won't be a score. In fact, could be out of bounds on the full. It is. And it will be a penalty to South Melbourne to be taken down there in the back pocket. It looks like by uh, Rod Carter. Score is South. Uh, South. Three goals, three. Three goals, 5-23, I should say, to Melbourne, 2-2-14. Two, two, Ball out there to watch that uh, half-back line. Picked up now by Paul Moore. It uh, falls a bit short. In front was James. Punched away by Ick. Overrung the ball was Carroll. Now it's picked up by Faschini. Hooks the ball back towards their half-forward line. Punched away by Evans. He's showing a bit of pace. Down he goes. Still smothers the ball pretty well and recovers. Beautifully to have a long shot for goal. What a bad throw of a kick. But stopped right on the line that time by Smith. So the Swans now move on to three goals, 6-24 to Melbourne, 2-2-14. Two, two, Waiting for the ball to come back into play. About 24 minutes gone of this uh, first quarter. Oh, there's a beautiful mark to Robert Flower. Not it about this guy, Bob. He's a magnificent player, isn't he? Oh, I can only say here, here, there, Lou. Ball back out there towards the wing position. That's Ackley flying up there high. He's grabbed beautifully by Cordner. Finally, the ball kicked back by Morwood. But not, not Morwood. It's back. He's marked his own kick, did he? As it finally comes back. That was uh, back there towards the centre of the ground again. Up towards Melbourne centre half. Morwood, it? And a good mark taken there by Paul Morwood. Paul Morwood out there on the point of the square for uh, the Swans. Drops the ball a bit short. Flying high was James. Finally picked up by Ick, a hand pass over to O'Donnell, back to Batterson, shows a lot of pace, gets away from uh, Ackley, a long kick out there towards Jackson and Carter, having a great battle, Gordner trying to kick it off the ground, Carter's in the thick of things, Jackson's on his back, and the umpire's going to ball it up in the middle of the square. Knocked out by, uh, by Browning, and the ball will be out of bounds in the forward pocket position for... Uh, the Swans about uh, 25 metres around from their goal. I don't know what the joke is, seriously. Boundary throw in. Very humid conditions here. Jackson contesting. And over. Carter. 
Shows a good bit of pace and gets it up towards the centre wing position. Only to see once again Robert Flower in the way. Flower showing a good turn of speed. O'Donnell. High kick in towards full forward. Croswell going for the free kick. An Academy Award performance that uh, certainly came unstuck because he just about pushed himself out. In the meantime, the mark taken by O'Donnell in front of Johnson. Council's kick into Johnson. Off target. I think out of bounds. The go on fine that he went for a Tom Mix there. And I think it has gone through for one behind. It has, so that takes Melbourne's score up to two goals, 3.15, trailing the Swans, 3.624 in the time on period of the first term. Ball driven back, Allender in front. Two grabs, has he got it? No or yes? Yes, he will be paid by umpire Rowan Soares. Croswell on the mark. In towards centre again. Gaunt goes the punch. Not really successful. O'Sullivan got grabbed. Evans on the bottom of the stack up. And the umpire has decided to ball it up at uh, almost centre half forward position for the Swans. 27 and a half minutes have gone in the first term. In fact, approaching the 28 minute mark. It's all Melbourne. Ball driven away by Flower up towards the uh, point of the square again. Paul Morwood having trouble picking it up over to Ackley. Umpire Soares has blown the whistle in the meantime. It is a Swans free kick and it will be taken down there by Paul Morwood at the right half-back flank. Centre half forward. Oh, beautiful mark again by Flower. Superb judgment and gets it over to Gaunt. Good play on the part of Gaunt, gets it out wide. And there's a good mark to Wilson. He's played a very really good game. Now there's the siren to end the first quarter. We see the Swans three goals, 6.24. To Melbourne, two goals, 3.15. So we're just about set now for the second term. Siren goes to start the second quarter as umpire Soares bounces the ball. The Swans leading 24 to 15 at the Sydney Cricket Ground in very humid conditions. A whistle from umpire Smith. Ball up again, only about five metres from the circle. Grass fairly long out there too. Especially on that wicket area. Keenan and Round. Keenan wins it. O'Sullivan. Gaunt. High towards half forward, and to see Browning in the way, and Mark Browning taking a safe mark in front of Healy. He plays on straight away, putting the Swans into attack. Long kick up towards centre half forward, off the hands of the pack. Smith. Back to centre field, Wilson and Browning. Browning goes down. Greg Smith, half forward, plenty of distance in that kick. Up to Roberts, Roberts and Giles, off the hands. Oh, they all missed it, the South Melbourne players there. Bernie Evans came in very quickly. Giles. Good clearing kick out towards uh, the boundary line. In fact, it's gone over the boundary line. And it will be a penalty for South Melbourne or the Swans to be taken down there by uh, Rhys Jones, it will be. Rhys Jones to put the Swans back into attack, almost on the centre wing position. Fine mark taken by Keenan. Frackers. To Batterston. Batterston short pass to Kelly O'Donnell on the point of the square. He missed the mark, but there's no one too near him, so he picks it up okay. Puts in the short one again down towards the right half forward flank. Cordner, well, he hasn't done too much today. He shot on the Tuesday night. Wilson has the mark. Umpire just whistling the player back on the mark. Wilson, not a high kick. Jackson in front, has it knocked away by Carter. Round in. Jackson claiming the mark. Gotta yeah. be kidding. <laughs> It will be a ball up some 15 metres out from goal. Well, a chance for Melbourne to score. At the moment, the Swans are 24 points to Melbourne, 15 points. Just on the two-minute mark of the second quarter, Jackson forces his way through the pack. He's slung to the ground, and he's going to get a free kick. Well, that's fair enough. I didn't have the ball when he was slung to the ground that time, and he'll take the free kick, Jackson. Directly in front, only about 25 metres out. Still, I've seen players earn, uh, earn free kicks much harder than that. Got a chance to score now. His first goal for Melbourne. And of course, that'll make them uh, three goals, 3.21 if he's successful. Usually a pretty accurate kick, this big fellow. Fires. And that's right through the middle. So the Swans, three goals, 6.24 to uh, Melbourne, 2, 3.21. A difference of three points. 3, 3.21, I should say. Well... Jackson may be a little bit lucky. Tony Elshaw not looking too good there. Centre bounce again.
Three points the difference. The South swing back into attack through uh, Hounsell. Picked up by Smith. A wide kick out there. Going after it now is O'Sullivan. After him is Reese Jones. He gets away, but it's a bad, badly directed hand pass. Once again, it's uh, Hounsell swooping on the ball. Goes for short pass, looking for Smith. He fumbled. Oh, there was a nasty one there to Batterston. Wright gets a hand pass over to James. A short pass. And a good mark there to Evans, right on the boundary line. Evans would be about uh, 25 metres out. A very difficult shot, and he yet to score a goal. Evans coming in for the kick. Let's see the result. It's a goal. So the Swans move on now to four goals, 6.30. To Melbourne, three goals, 3.21. Well, nice kick by Bernie Evans, wasn't it, Bob? Yes, um... Evans would remember last year's game up here well uh, when he really uh, played a magnificent game against Collingwood and he obviously relishes the ground and uh, that uh, from that angle a lovely goal. Second quarter in progress five and a quarter minutes right couldn't get his kick in Reese Jones showing speed tries to tap the ball onto Smith successful in doing just that Danaher plenty of distance and Tony Danaher's kick up towards the full forward position for the Swans and the ball taken over the line by Shane Zantuck. Boundary throw in, about 15 metres from the behind post. Allender in front. Zantuck again. Allender doing battle with him. And we'll see a ball up about 15 metres out from goal. Keenan. And Allender, Allender has the spring. Smith puts it high, doesn't cover too much distance. Hounsell at the back, or could have infringed. In fact, has done the free kick going to Johnson for Melbourne at the right half back flank. Tries a fork, not too successful. Batterston, long up towards Wilson, who was nearly decapitated. Takes the free kick. Elshaw from the centre wing position, driving the demons forward. Croswell into the back of his opponent and has been free kicked. Max Cruz to take the free in the left back pocket. It's about the third time Cross was done that, you know, Pete. Well, he's playing from behind, and that is a mistake, an elementary one. You say Ron Barassi will probably have the runner out to say something to him very smartly. On his way now, Pete. Here he comes. <laughs> yes, he's coming out. So the free to the Swans, Cruz taking it. He's almost at the half back flank now. Plenty of distance in Cruz's kick. Keenan and Round fly. Likewise, Reese Jones comes down to Wilson to O'Sullivan. Two of the demon small men who are doing well so far in the match. Jackson has to punch it away from Carter. Corden is there backing him up. Carter over towards Paul Morwood. Morwood back towards the centre wing position, looking for Smith. Bounces up into his arms, okay. Well shepherded by Wright. And chipping in to take the mark down there in the uh, the back pocket for the demons is the uh, former South Mel uh, North Melbourne player in Zanta. Well, he played for South too, Pete, and uh, the mark going out there to Keenan. Well, Barassi was pulling uh, Croswell off, but then decided to send him back again. We see Paul Morwood duck away for the, the pack for the Swans, right down to their forward pocket. There's Bajini coming in, and another great mark down there on that half forward line for uh, South. Ball drops a bit short. Ah, oh, great mark for Roberts. Beautiful mark. He already kicked one goal. He's only about uh, 25 metres out, directly in front. And, of course, this will be South's uh, fifth goal, if they're fortunate. Waiting on, uh, on Roberts to go for goal number two and goal number five for South. No doubt about it. I think it's right through the middle. Two goals to John Roberts. 36 players 21 now and the Swans go just a little bit further ahead and John Roberts becomes the first player on the ground to kick two goals. Other goal kickers for the Swans, Allender, Evans and Hounsell. Roberts looks a lot better Pete when he gets that front position and uh, can attack the ball because he is a one grab player of a mark and uh, to have it in front of him is far better. As the centre bounce again, and uh, South are doing it pretty well at the moment. They're 36 points to Melbourne, 21. Robert just kicked his second goal, and looking good, as Bob Skilton said before, playing in front. Two great marks. Will be round against Keenan. Keenan got the tap down, a good one. The ball driven up there by Alshaw. Pushed away again by Danaher. Back to Browning, and South playing with a lot more confidence now. Beautiful hand pass coming out to Dennis Carroll. 
It's a long one out to Flashini. He'll pick it up. Okay, he's a little bit of magic, this guy, as he fires the ball up there towards Roberts again between two players. Look at him fly. And he's got the crowd on their feet at the moment. Down there on the boundary line, picked up by Zantuck, but he's well collared by Evans. And the umpire said, hold on the ball against him. A good tackle by Evans that time. Was it with the back pocket? Smith to centre half forward, Lou. Okay, there are the moves. For Melbourne, they've got to do something pretty drastic, and there's no doubt about it. It's a pro uh, South crowd here at the uh, Sydney Cricket Ground. They've certainly adopted the Swans pretty much to their heart. Kicked by Evans. Oh, there's a beautiful shot for Melbourne. Another one to Evans. Goal number two. And a beautiful kick. So it's uh, South, six goals, 6.42 to Melbourne, 3.3.21. Well, very happy Bernie Evans, and naturally show it so. When you can kick two of those from the boundary line, uh, when you've put one through the first time, it's, uh, the odds are yes, against you putting it through a game. But a magnificent goal there from Bernie Evans. Ten minutes gone of the second quarter. The Swans doubled Melbourne's score. Barry Round's high kick doesn't cover much distance. In fact, it probably wouldn't be paid a mark, is it? Yes, it would have covered just ten metres too. You can see how close Alan Jarrett is to the, the uh, centre circle. To half forward. Ackley overruns the ball, Batterston's there, Paul Morwood backs him up, Jackson goes through like a steam train, Morwood eventually picking the ball up, clearing it out to Reese jones who couldn't complete the mark. Ick, met pretty solidly, back to Jarrett, two former North Melbourne players in the thick of things. Half forward again, off the hands, past O'Donnell, Morwood, hit him on the head that time. Dennis Carroll, number seven. Fashini. Ah, straight to Crackers Keenan. Goodness me. Johnson to Flower. Melbourne regains supremacy. Robert Flower, one of Melbourne's best, to right half forward. In fact, into the pocket now. Jackson too slow for Carter, who upends a seat on the way through. And it will nevertheless be a boundary throw in. 42 to 21. Teams today playing for the Chateau Cup and $10,000, one of the seven spot matches throughout the year, winner take all with the compliments of HSV. In towards the pocket and the mark taken down there for the Swans by Anthony Danaher. Comes a cross goal for Browning. Evans, one of the Swans' best. He's kicked two beautiful goals already, Bernie Evans, and get plenty of distance with that kick. Ick was the flyer in the middle, couldn't take the mark. Allen that tries to tap it away from Croswell. Smith offloaded with the ball. Gets it into the open. Clever with the Hounsell, who has pace. Hounsell onto the left foot. Steps it goal. Great shot by Hounsell, four points. So Hounsell's second goal. The Swans, a good quarter, especially in the last five or so minutes. 7 6 48 to Melbourne, 3 3 21. Colin Hounsell has been a very busy player in the centre and uh, he's uh, given Alan Johnson a bit of a run around. I think probably Johnson finding uh, the tempo a little bit different to uh, over there in Perth, but uh, so far Hounsell really covering a tremendous amount of territory. It's 48 to 21 at the 12 and three quarter minute mark of the second term. As the Swan swinging the tag again through Browning up there to Morwood. He's gone. He fumbled that one, Tony Morwood. He tries to come out of the pack. He can't do so. A stack up here, but there's that right again. They're playing strong football south at the moment. And it's right in front of their goal. And finally, it gets a hand pass after getting a free kick out for Zantuck. Another hand pass back to Jarrett. Jarrett goes for a long kick over centre half forward. Smith tries to grab the mark, a bump, or try to get that out was Cordner. He was grabbed. Seems a little bit lost at the moment, young Cordner, Bob. Yes, yeah, so I think it's a little bit awkward playing in the forward pocket uh, and trying to stay away from Jackson when you've played most of your football as the key position player. Set of outs again, about uh, 40 metres out uh, from Melbourne's goal. Knocked out by Smith to Kerry uh, O'Donnell. Back it goes to Cordner. Oh, smothered, but uh, knocked away by Carter. Hand pass to Danaher. Over to Paul Morwood again. They're playing well down there in defence out Melbourne. Finally, it's Hounsell. He's been a dangerous player too. Another hand pass coming over there to Carroll. And South looking very good as the ball goes up there to Robertson. Giles. Giles in front. But Smith is coming on the scene pretty quickly. Goes for the boundary line, Giles. Roberts is in front, but the umpire said uh, a free kick. Out of bounds, I think, Luke. Out of bounds. Out of bounds down there in the forward pocket, about 25 metres around. Well, the crowd not happy about that decision either. Out of bounds, about 25 uh, metres around from the south goal. Allender and uh, Keenan. Actually, uh, Keenan got that out. Not a good knockout. 
quick kick for goal by Roberts. He's put it through. Yes. Goal number three. Well, they're looking good now, South. Eight goals, 6.54 to Melbourne, 3-3, three, three, 21. Well, look, watching the replay now as we see Allender go up high and uh, Allender got that tap over the back and Roberts, an awkward looking kick, but it doesn't matter how, whether they look flashy or not as no. long as they go through for those full points. We're at the 14 minute mark of the second term and it's been a good term for the Swans. Johnson, or Wilson it is, going through Evans, has the ball, gives it over to number six, O'Sullivan, who gets caught. Umpire said he didn't have the ball and O'Sullivan to take the free kick. O'Sullivan, set a wink. Or oh, big fly from Cruz. Really got off the ground that time, Max Cruz. And there's plenty of him. Puts the ball wide. Tony Morwood. Into centre field. Right there is Keaton. Stands his ground. Pretty hard to get past him. Keenan tries it short, looking for Stephen Smith, who, as Bob Skilton pointed out, has been moved up to centre half forward. 47 is Jarrett. A little bit too much speed for Barry Round. Goes high. That's going the long way home, isn't it? Melbourne swing into attack as the ball is driven forward down there by O'Sullivan again, up towards the centre half forward position, and a good mark taken by Dennis Carroll. Playing very well, Pete. He is playing well. Dennis Carroll gets plenty of distance with the kick two to the centre wing position, not further forward by Allender. Flowers in the road. Morwood pushes him in the back. It's his free, but he plays on, which was the sensible thing to do. Good pass by Flower. Melbourne moving the ball well now as the hand pass comes out to O'Donnell from Wilson. Jacko can't take the mark. Johnson snaps at goal and has put it through for one behind. So Melbourne scoring a point when they badly needed a goal. 3-4, 22. It's their first score for some time. The Swans, 8-6, 54. Just over the 15-minute mark of this second quarter, and the Swans looking very good. That defensive uh, South is really standing up to the strain. No worries about that. A beautiful mark to Wilson. A hand pass over to O'Donnell. There's a chance now for Jackson and Carter to have a go. At the back is Ackley goes for the punch, and the balls force through for one point to Melbourne. So the Demons move on to three goals, 5.23 to the Swans, eight goals, 6.54. Well, South doing very well all over the ground they've had some outstanding players up to this stage of the match oh Keenan missed that finally it's picked up by O'Sullivan goes for a short pass that's been uh, Melbourne's pattern of course it's not paying off at the moment and a good mark taken there by Ackley at centre half back Ackley drives the ball back towards south centre half forward position punched out by Flower he's doing a great job too for Melbourne pushed on by Smith not a very good knockout but once again Flower's in the thick of things and the umpire's going to ball it up out, out to the edge of the square, out towards the wing position. So it's Melbourne, 3-5-23 uh, to South, eight goals, 6-54. Keenan got the tap down, no one there for Melbourne. Wright's grabbed, didn't have the ball, now he's clear. Goes for a short pass, it's a good one, and Fasini's got the mark. A little bit of killing him at the moment. Yes, uh, Stephen Wright's come right into the game. Uh, at the same time, Batterson has gone out of the game from Melbourne, so uh, Wright... Evans and uh, looks like uh, Wilson of Melbourne there who had played very well so far in a bit of brother as Fashini goes goalward and he's off target and of course another point to the Swans and they move on to eight goals 755 to Melbourne 3523 Melbourne still messing about on this uh, small ground going out to the flanks and of course it's not paying dividends whereas Mel South are still going straight down the ground ball back into play by Giles Keenan and uh, and round a good mark to Keenan. He's not doing a bad job on the ruck. I, I would say he's on top of uh, round at the moment. The ball kicked out the flower and he's got the mark. No doubt Melbourne's best player up to this stage of the match. Oh, a hand pass, a dangerous one back to Batterson, back to Flower, another hand pass to O'Donnell. They've got the hand pass going now as we see coming out the pack as Johnson well grabbed. Well grabbed by Reese Jones. Back it goes to Smith, a snap for goal. One point again. They can't get that goal, Melbourne, so they're still three goals, 6.24 to South, eight goals, 7.55. Second quarter in progress, um, 18 minutes. As I said, the two teams today playing for the Chateau Cup and most of the crowd here at the SCG right behind those in the red and white. The Sydney Swans actually missed the mark. Paul Morwood backs him up and gets ridden into the ground for his trouble. Looking for the free kick was Elshaw for holding the ball, but it wasn't there, and the umpire says throw it in. It will be a boundary throw-in. 
half forward flank round big punch down Browning a wobbly punt kick in towards center field Morwood has it knocked away from him Keenan with a little chip shot out towards Kelly O'Donnell hand passes to Healy who's moved well downfield a long kick and a fine mark brought in by Cordner that would be his first mark for the day I'd suggest Cordner one of Melbourne's best players and Keenan having a few uh, words to say to Browning Cordner one of uh, Melbourne's best players on Tuesday night in their clash with Hawthorne which they ultimately won he had a number of shots at goal but kicked atrociously let's see if his kicking has improved since then he's got a pretty difficult one but Bernie Evans has scored a couple from the boundary line so far in the match no I would suggest that he's missed that by a good meter one behind the demons when they badly needed a goal and that takes them along to three goals seven and so they've only added one goal this quarter one goal four actually south eight goals seven and has built up a little bit since the match commenced probably in excess of 10,000 now be a smidgen more windless conditions here at the Sydney Cricket Ground very humid the ground seems to have dried out after that shower we had just at the start of the first quarter Oh, fine mark taken by Reese Jones looks for the handball to Cruz a poor hand pass it certainly wasn't as good as the mark Cruz is good enough to pick it up on the run a long kick down towards the full forward position for the Swans it's knocked to the ground or oh, Croswell goes in with a hefty bump flower to Jarrett likewise knocked heavily by Evans Melbourne's handball not as good as it was on Tuesday picked up by O'Donnell scouting well long handball up towards the center wing position Melbourne uh, moved the ball forward through Batterston and you see in the road Ackley taking a fine mark good mark to Ackley he's got a clear run he's going right across the house I don't know, where he's, I don't know where he's going he should be going directly around the ground or down the ground I think he got, thought the goals were going the, the other, other way. way finally got it out okay over to Reese Jones back to Carter a long kick down towards centre half forward this is right chipping in for South and he's doing it well two of the hand pass back to Smith Smith picks it up he's clear runs to an open goal you can put out your glasses a goal Smith's first goal nine goals 761 south to uh, Melbourne 3725 well, I don't know what happened to the Melbourne defense on that occasion Lou but uh, when Smith actually kicked the ball there were five Mel uh, South Mel Melbourne players and only one Melbourne uh, defender anywhere near him so uh, the Melbourne defense uh, completely caught unawares there and uh, dragged up the field somehow uh, either that or the South uh, players just had that better recovery and were able to get back onto the scene actually was good play on the part of Ackley when you work it out <laughs> <laughs> well there's the bounce again and South South back in the business keen enough the ground for Melbourne there's a mark taken out there by uh, Zantuck they're taking a bit of hammering this uh, Melbourne defense at the moment as the ball is finally picked up by Croswell kicks have been scarce for uh, old Tyke today and a good mark to O'Donnell O'Donnell on the edge of the square with a hand pass coming over to Wilson who got a nasty knock before it's clear to know what to do with it putting on his Tony Elshaw putting through that goal and the badly needed one for Melbourne to take them to 4-7 they still trail by five goals 4-7 to 9-7 and so it's a difference of 30 points as we watch it in replay O'Donnell to Wilson certainly ran his full 10 meters Lou I'd say he did they put themselves under pressure all the way there but to make hard work at that yes game. they were fortunate to get out of that but uh, nonetheless that's been the, the pattern of their play and was so effective last Tuesday night well we see uh, South 9 7 61 to Melbourne 4 7 31 a difference of 30 points Melbourne swing back into attack again through gone but there's no one there in attack and a good mark taken there by Paul Morwood Paul Morwood at center half back it's the ball out wide Moving across there towards Jane, but it's punched away by Gaunt again. Not doing a bad job for Melbourne. Little Hansel uh, clears away from the back. Scampers actually goes for a long kick, but he's off target. And the ball is out of bounds on the full, and a penalty free kick will go down there to uh, Giles. Dennis Carroll off and Scott on for the Swans, Lou, as it starts to rain again here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Well, that'll certainly uh, put uh, South in a better position because they're in front by 30 points at the moment. And rain certainly won't uh, help Melbourne's chances because they're not handling the ball nearly as clearly as South. Ball kicked back into play by Giles. Out there for Byrne to take a mark at the back of three of them attacking him there as it hits the deck now. Reese Jones tries to get it clear. Well picked up that time by Wilson. A hand pass out to Welshaw. 
Elshaw looking for a lead. Gets another one back there to O'Sullivan. Out there at half forward. Should go directly down there to Jackson. There's Jackson and uh, Carter coming out. Not only a mark that time to Smith, but the umpire wouldn't pay it. Picked up by Gordon. A hand pass coming over now to Healy. Goes for a short pass. It'll be... Oh, no, it's too long to O'Donnell, but he recovers okay. In a bit of trouble as we see the ball picked up by Scott. Scott does a bit of fancy dance, dancing for South. Gets it out wide and a mark tail. Oh, he dropped the mark, Reese Jones, but got plenty of back up there in Browning. Yes, Browning backing up. In fact, a couple of uh, Swan players were backing up. Roberts, a big uh, jump from the back of the pack. Morewood, Tony Morewood, lost it. Zantuck. Wright has the pace to beat Croswell, who had his nose rubbed in the dirt. The Tiger fights on, literally. It's uh, ringside with the wrestlers out there. A real tag team effort. Nothing really too sinister. And the umpires coming in and hoping that wiser heads do prevail as we enter the time on period of the second quarter. Which have been a pretty good one for the Swans to date. Melbourne scoring only two goals and the Swans have so far added, I think it's around about six goals. So a ball up to take place. Half forward flank for them. That rain still persisting. Round. Got two hands to it. Ball swung away by Wilson. Back towards the centre wing position. The Melbourne mark at the back is it. Dragged down by Smith who gives it to Jarrett. Alan Jarrett looking for Jacko. One hand to it with Rod Carter. The Swans defence is pretty good so far in the match. That wasn't the best of uh, defence down there. And the ball booted over the boundary line on the full. And that player was uh, 19. That was Anthony Danaher. So it's a penalty to the Swans. Taken by Paul Morwood. It's not a great kick either. Its direction is okay. Smith. Smith is at left half back. The emblem on centre wing and landing very heavily was burned for Melbourne. Council tries to pick the ball up on the run. Ellingworth going with him. Johnson. Reese Jones involved in a wrestle behind play. Wise ahead to prevail there as the umpire steps in. In the meantime, Flower takes a little pot shot at the ball from the ground. Cashini to Evans. Good short work by the Swans. In turn to Allender. Back to Evans. His kick to comes one for his corner and gets a free kick. Right across the chops. Rather painful, especially on a cool afternoon. Not that it's that here today, but they sting nevertheless. Bernie Evans, who's kicked two goals so far, won't score with that one. He goes the pass. Roberts, well tackled. Looks for Morwood, couldn't find him. The Demons defence a little bit tighter on this occasion. Roberts picks it up again, looking for James, finds him. Jarrett tackles well. Gaunt comes in for the assist. Back to Evans. In fact, it's too long for him. Bernie Evans picking it up. Allender. Allender puts the ball high. Could be too high for Wright. Wright scouting well. Reese Jones tries to go through. Gets buffeted from pillar to post. Zantuck's there. And the Melbourne player putting his head down was Elshaw. And he comes out with the free kick. What a minute of it. Not going to get that free kick, Elshaw. Ducked into it. Raw kick back out there to watch that half back line. Hounsell got into his uh, opponent's back. Uh, Ellingworth finally going after it now as O'Donnell, who's played a pretty good game out there in the wing for Melbourne. Batterson coming it down. He goes. That's the second one he's got today. Free the kick. The paying the free kick. I don't know what for. But it was a fair enough bump, uh, Bob. It was a hip and shoulder. Hip and shoulder all the way. The kick by Batterson is up there towards Jackson and uh, Carter. Carter's in front. Jackson doesn't look like getting a kick at the moment, even though he has kicked one goal. Which was from a free kick. It was a free kick. He was lucky to get that, actually. What are you laughing at, Bob? Ball back at the play again. Picked up by Moore with a very high kick across towards centre half. Back coming in as O'Sullivan. Up end, but still takes the mark. 15 metre penalty. He puts him right uh, well within kicking distance. Only about 20 metres, but uh, he's a little bit sore at the moment. No, he came down pretty heavily. Not uh, having a bit of a box on now. Well, stupid by Melbourne because they have possession of the That's ball right. and coming in at that stage. Looks as though, I don't know if he's come down on his knee or not. Well, what's happened to young uh, Sullivan? But he did fall down pretty heavily. And we'll just have to watch now and see whether he can get to his feet. He's, uh, he's up. I don't know how good he is. Still looks a bit groggy. It's only about 20 metres out. And uh, believe you me, Melbourne badly need this goal at the moment. The Swans are 9 7 to Melbourne 4 7 On a difference of 30 points in favour of the Swans. Now he's on his feet, but he doesn't look the best. Umpire going across to talk to him. What happens there, Bob? Can someone else have a shot for you? If he can't take the kick, yes. 
Going to bring him up now within about uh, 20 metres of the game. Wouldn't beat 20 metres. And I got to keep him on his feet. And he should be able to kick it. Should imagine Browning will start jumping around the mark a bit to try and put him up. Ready to fire at the goal from badly needed one for Melbourne. A goal to Melbourne. They're fifth. They signed in second. So Melbourne uh, now a five goal, 7.37 to South, 9.761. Yes, um, Sullivan, a courageous mark, really. He was in between both Stephen Wright and uh, Rhys Jones, and uh, Jones coming down over the top of O'Sullivan after he did take the mark. But two goals uh, so far would give uh, young O'Sullivan, uh, well, a tremendous boost. Uh, he's a young boy up from the under-19s last year, and so far O'Sullivan, uh, a very handy player. New ball being brought out. Even though the difference now, Bob, is 24 points, but a couple of quick goals by Melbourne puts them well back on the running because I reckon you could kick a bundle of goals there if you played the game correctly on this Sydney cricket ground. You consider that, uh, you know, Stephen Smith uh, is not doing a lot at centre-half forward. Uh, Jackson and Corden are, are nil down there. It would only take uh, either of those players to, to do something. 29 minutes have gone in the second term. Four goals the difference. Burn. Or too tall. Reese Jones. Well on the move, a hand pass not the best. Zantuck up from the back pocket, gets his kick in in front of Smith, puts it wide towards the boundary line in front of the uh, old wooden stand over there. And it's over the line, and as the rain still comes down here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Certainly no wind, it's not cold, but out there I dare say rather wet. Two number 14s, Byrne and Allender. It's all Melbourne through Wilson. Browning's too late in getting there. Gaunt scoops it up on the run, gets it over to Ellingworth, who runs straight at the Paul Morwood with a good tackle. Is brought to the ground and has been free kicked. Well, he must have adjudicated that he tackled him too high. Ellingworth to fall forward. Jacko. Elshaw, who's kicked one, straightens up on the boundary line, has a pot shot at the goals, and what's he done with it? One behind, I think. Yes, it is. And so that makes the difference now 23 points as we check the scoreboard. 5-8-38 to 9-7-61. Melbourne doing all the scoring in the latter part of this term, whereas uh, the Swans were in command certainly in the first part of it. Tony Morwood flying high, couldn't complete the mark. Batterston getting ridden into the ground by Rhys Jones. No free kick forthcoming from that skirmish. Byrne, beautiful handball. We expect that from him. Wilson fires at the goals and only to see the mark taken down there, I believe. Or is it a point? Carter had it. Point. It's a point. And so one further point to the Demons, taking them to 5-9. 39 plays 61 time on second quarter. And we're at the 30 and a half minute mark of this second quarter as the ball goes out there towards Rhys Jones and Ellingworth. But uh, Rhys Jones is the victor there, goes for a long hand pass to Scott. Actually, it's too long, but Scott's got time to recover. It's a hand pass back to Rhys Jones again. Another one over to right. And this makes South look pretty good as he swings them right into a tackle. He went for a bounce and bumbled it. Now a long kick for goal. Not a bad sort of a shot. It's a goal, and that is Wright's uh, first goal, I think. Yes, it is, Luke. Wright's first goal, and South move on to 10 goals. Seven is six, uh, 67 points. Bob Skilton can't add up here. There it is in replay, and uh, of course he breaks clear, and uh, he nearly lost the ball, but he recovered pretty well and had a putt shot, and uh, you know the result now. It's uh, full point, so it's 10 goals, 7.67 to South, and uh, Melbourne 5.939. Batterston puts the Demons into attack up towards centre half forward and you'll see Ackerley in the road takes it in front of Cordner to Paul Morwood the Swans combining well in their back line Paul Morwood will look out wide for a teammate on the centre wing position that's Hounsell over the VFL emblem he goes playing a great game Colin Hounsell though he has been out of the play in the last 15 minutes or so Ick will get there first no he won't he's bowled over by Wright who kicked the last goal Croswell returns the compliment as the side so as the siren goes for half time and the scores the swans 10 7 67 thank you bob leading melbourne 5 9 39 5 9 to 10 7. bill collins the south melbourne chairman talking to ray jammers and the photographer from the sporting globe ball bounced to start the second half of the match smith for the swans first kick of the term up towards half forward Still that light rain falling, making conditions very, very slippery indeed as Stephen Ick comes out with the ball. 
But the umpire has decided to ball it up. Two interesting players on the Melbourne interchange bench, Stephen, Brent Croswell and Tony Elshaw. Peter's the name, Bob, but that's no. quite OK. Ball booted forward for the Swans, up towards their 10-metre square, off the hands of the pack. Roberts off the ground, through for four points, goal. And that's John Roberts's fourth goal. A great start for the Swans in their second half. And the scores. Melbourne, 5-9-39, the Swans, 11-7-73. Just as I was saying that before, uh, Peter, uh, Brent Coswell does not look too happy down on the uh, interchange bench. We watch on replay. We find Bernie Evans getting the ball forward for South Melbourne. Uh, over the top of the pack, Roberts uh, recovering a little quicker there than uh, Peter Giles. And uh, Roberts now four goals on the board. Keenan and Round. Nobody gets a decisive tap out. Batterston's kick goes up towards the half forward line for the Demons. A whistle has gone. There will be a free kick, possibly downfield. Round is... Uh, just having a couple of words with uh, opposition players, Keenan likewise. And as I suggested, the free kick will be taken downfield for Melbourne, round about the centre-half forward position. Up by Rowan Soares will indicate where it will be taken. And let's see who's going to take the kick, Cordner. And that would only be about his second kick for the day. He had a shot at goal at the hill end in the previous term, missed it. Certainly is not the player he was in the match on Tuesday night against the Hawks at VFL Park. Cordner from 40 metres out, free kick directly in front of goal. It would be a badly needed one for Melbourne if he can convert it. That's not a bad sort of a kick from the youngster, and he's put it through. One goal. Melbourne's first for the third quarter, 6-9, 45 to 11-7, 73. Well, David Cordner, Pete, would certainly... Uh really be pleased to get that one through because the other night uh, his kicking was sadly astray as you mentioned earlier and uh, once you've gotten that first goal on the board you certainly have a lot more confidence and it might make a big difference to the way Co uh, David Cordner approaches the ball from now on well things as they were at half time a goal apiece Swan 73 points to Melbourne 45 points and Melbourne go back into attack again Gordon having a pot shot again but it falls short and a mark there to Ackley in defence well things are the same as the start of this quarter and both kicking a goal within a matter of uh, two and a half minutes the ball finally comes out there to Hansel one of Melbourne's the South's best players today punched away again by Smith finally picked up by Ick if back it goes to Gordon a high kick out towards the flank a chance for Keener to mark Round comes on the scene, got into his back, picked up by Flower. A good hand pass going out there to Johnson. The one coming over to Burn, it's too long, but it bounces okay for Ellingworth. Another long hand pass coming over to O'Donnell, a running shot for goal, and it's a good sort of a kick. And Melbourne are coming back into this game. Well, that's a nice burst by Melbourne. They go to 7 4 51 to South 11 7, 7 9 51, I should say, to South 11 7 73. There it is in replay. He watches Ellingworth now, accepts that, gives a hand pass over the top. Kelly O'Donnell having plenty of time to steady and making no mistake at all about it. Back to the centre again. Knocked out by Round. Smith goes in, finally forced it out to Hounsell. He's clear. Now he'll send uh, South Melbourne to attack up towards their full forward position. Punched out by Giles to Smith. Back to Giles again. He fumbles the ball. Hicks in the front, he's grabbed, didn't have the ball, and it will take the free kick down there in the back pocket position for Melbourne. Over to Giles. Giles, right on the boundary line, goes for the pass, whoops a nosy, Flower takes it. Roberts a little bit too late on the scene. Burn from behind, knocks the ball towards the boundary line, and we'll see a throw-in to take place on the centre wing position. Still at light rain falling here at the Sydney Cricket Ground as we await the boundary throw-in. Bird and Round. Round. Looks for the handball. Taken by Hounsell. Plenty of distance in that kick by Hounsell. In front is Gaunt. Behind is Evans. They both missed it. Fashini, number six. Ball tapped into the open spaces. His opposite number six is O'Sullivan. Goes straight downfield. The best way to play this ground, that's for sure. And a fine mark brought in by Max Cruz. 34 for the Swans. Cruz from centre half back. Keenan at the back. Flower in front. Robbie Flower, number two. Melbourne captain this year, re elected only recently. Johnson, short pass. Healy, short again. Looks for Wilson, too wide for him. Ball over the boundary line in the forward pocket. 
And we will see it thrown in in front of the Badman stand. Ruckman set themselves. It's going to be Byrne and Round. Byrne wins it. Wilson caught by three Swan defenders. Out comes Little Wright. There's a box on behind play. Play continues in the meantime, although umpire Soares has now blown the whistle. Temper's becoming just a little bit frayed. Umpire Soares in the cutting to Kevin Smith that I think the kick will be taken downfield. It will be a Swan kick. Rod Carter has the ball. Carter in the back pocket. Jacko standing on the mark. Waiting for the ball to come back uh, from Carter. Can't quite make up his mind. Ball kicked back there towards centre field. Allinger in the punt posse. Punched out by Smith. Comes down here now to uh, Batterston. Over it goes to Zantuck. Over to O'Sullivan. Melbourne looking a lot better now. But that's a bad kick and a mark taken there by Brown. A hand pass to Browning on that half-back flank uh, position for the Swans. A kick up there. A great mark to Flower. Melbourne looking a lot better now. And they're putting pressure on... Uh, on south as the ball finally comes out there and driven up there by by Zantuck up towards the uh, half forward pack off the top of the pack picked up by Healy a bad pass O'Donnell over around the ball this allows Paul Moore to pick it up and now south swing back into attack with a long kick down there towards that full forward position there's a mark a mark to James and he's only about uh, let's see uh, about 40 metres out from goal if that and there's only what uh, 22 points the difference between the two sides South Melbourne under pressure now as James comes in for the shot. Falls a bit short again. In front is Keenan. Got his hands to it, couldn't hold the mark. There's a chance now for a goal. Kicked off the ground that time by Evans. And that's another goal to South. Three goals to Evans. So South are now 12 goals, 7.79 to Melbourne, 7.9.51. Well, Peter Keenan hasn't made too many mistakes, but uh, the big fellow, when he got his hands on the ball then, should have taken that mark. Uh, didn't quite do so, and as I mentioned at half-time, neither he nor Round look 100% fit, but uh, a bad miss nonetheless. So it's uh, 28 points the difference. We see the ball knocked down there by Keenan, the wrong man. Finally... 28 points the difference is the ball. Oh, there's Flower getting up too uh, early that time, and the umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Flower. I thought it should have gone the other way. What did you think, Bob? I know why he gave it, because uh, the boy Morwood, Morwood had his hip out, but surely you can uh, put your body if you're in the front position. Healy ducks and got one around the back of the neck, and the umpire's paying the free kick to him. Could have been a bit lucky. He ducked into it, so now Healy's got a chance to send Melbourne back into attack. They're 28 points down at the moment. The kick by Healy's a long one up there towards the face of goal. At the back is caught, and got the sit, couldn't hold the mark. Finally, it's picked up by uh, South uh, Smith and takes the ball away from the danger zone. Smith's kick over the boundary line in front of the players' interchange area. That's where we'll see it thrown back into play with the scores reading 51 to 79 in favour of the Swans. Melbourne throwing every, everything at them so far in this quarter. Keenan and Round. Neither effectively get it out. Smith looking for a free kick off the ground by Batterston up towards the point of the square. Shark by Browning. Short in board towards the centre. Hounsell on his own. Long kick up towards the full forward position. Looking for Roberts. James flies likewise. Right. Scouts the pack well. Snaps and puts it through. Four points. Great little rave of this guy. You can't give him any latitude. Melbourne 7 9 51. The Swans go to 13 7 85. He has a wonderful piece of roving there by Stephen Wright. A very courageous player, but that time he really showed all the skills. As we watch now, Smith from behind from Melbourne, punching the ball away in a right defensive fashion, and Stephen Wright swooping on the ball, and a lovely goal. Ten and a half minutes have elapsed in the third quarter. Crowd right behind the Sydney Swans. Knocked down by Barry Round, Brownlow Midlist of last year. Batterston, now it's O'Sullivan, it's Gaunt, going through solidly as Scott, tries to get it to Smith, takes it himself. Looking for Roberts, Roberts and Giles, down to right again, Stephen Wright grabbed, did he have the ball? He uh, thought he may have been grabbed a little bit too high. Giles, good handball to O'Donnell, who is collared by Roberts. Hounsell, snap at goal. Smith is there for Melbourne, it bounced uh, wide of him, 
and through for one behind to the Swans to take their total to 13 8 86 Melbourne 7 9 51 35 points the difference about 12 and a half minutes gone of this third quarter a short pass and an easy mark taken there by uh, Jarrett hand pass over again to uh, Smith the ball is kicked out wide they're taking a long way around again Melbourne out the court there's another hand pass coming out the way Sutton too uh, slow well tackled by Evans Ball on the boundary line, picked up, oh, there's a crash there to Patterson, it's about five he's got today, and he'll get a free kick to the disgust of Bob Skilton here. Well, the crowd doesn't like it either. But, Gully, I'll tell you what, uh, they've taken South Melbourne to their hearts up here in Sydney, haven't they? That's their side now. I shouldn't say South Melbourne, I should say South, because there's the ball going over to Jarrett. Now Melbourne have a chance to swing back into attack with a long kick. Oh, Cordner flew high, couldn't hold the mark. Finally picked up by Ick down there on that forward line. He must be out uh, playing in that position as the ball gets down towards the forward pocket and out of bounds. Have they moved Ick down to a centre-half forward, Bob, or not? No, I think he moved down the ground with uh, Allen to Lou. Elshaw on the ground. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. It'll be uh, the 225s, Round and Jackson. Jackson got it out, but uh, Morwood, who's doing a great job, lost that one. Carter throws it away. A chance now for Healy to pick it up. But the umpire's going to ball it up about 25 metres out uh, from the Melbourne goal. South of 13, 886 to Melbourne, 7951. Getting up high that time was Byrne. They kicked off the ground again by uh, Browning. Back towards centre half back. There's a, a, a Sullivan trying to get out, but the umpire said he had no hope, and there'll be a ball up at centre half forward about 50 metres out from the Melbourne goal. Knocked out by Byrne. Good play by Healy. He's clear now. He's got a pot shot to an open goal. He fires, but he's up target. That's through for one point to the disgust of Courtney there. So we see uh, Melbourne go to 7 10, 52 to South, 13 8, 86. 52 plays 86 in the third quarter, which has been in progress some 12 and a half minutes. And a fine mark dragged down there by Ackley. Wilson not letting him get a yard. Centre wing. Allender got nudged out. Kick takes the mark. Ellingworth, well caught. Well backed up by Jarrett. Cruz, solid in defence with the Swans. Puts it in short towards the right half forward flank. Mark taken down there by Greg Smith and off he goes. Plenty of weight by Gaunt. Pushed for Sheeney right into the ground. The umpire must have seen that. The players coming in to remonstrate. Silly play by Gaunt and arguably a reportable offence. And that uh, certainly livened things up down there. Well, well, I'm just looking to see if I can find any notebooks or pads out from the umpires. I can't see any. Gaunt was the, uh, shall we say, alleged offender. And umpire Kevin Smith having a few harsh words to Barry Round, too. Now, Smith will get the free kick. I thought the free kick might have gone down the field. It can't, Lou. It went uh, through the goals. It, it? it was a, a point, I think. And uh, so it's, the free kick has to be where it lands or back, back from where, where it was, it was kicked. kicked. He has the option, therefore, of the other kick. Well, actually, uh, Gaunt was a bit mad because he pushed him out. They went for the second uh, issue at him. Oh, and the third. <laughs> well, I was being a bit uh, kind there. Put his nose right into the dirt. Or turf, I should say. There aren't too many bare patches on this ground. Which is in very, very good condition. Smith has kicked one goal so far. Swan's leading goal kicker is Roberts with four. Evans has three. Hounsing on right to a piece. Greg Smith from 45 metres out. Into the goal square. Mark to Keenan. Frankers takes it right on the white line. The two number tens. John Roberts bring uh, brought back on the mark. Keenan goes towards the outer side, looking for Wilson. He doesn't let him down. That should be played as a mark, I would reckon. And Brian Wilson takes it on the right half-back flank. Play on is the call now. Oh, goodness me. That was most unnecessary. That's Elshaw, is it? I tell you what, that uh, Wright's been in a bit of trouble. Elshaw. That's about the fourth incident he's been uh, connected <laughs> with. And uh, even oh. to... <laughs> I tell you what. Look at Keenan having a go at little right. Up by Kevin Smith telling them to keep playing. Elshaw has the kick. And uh, he's talking to Shane Zantuck, now number 32. So Tony Elshaw, right half-back flank for the Demons with the free kick. 
No big pardons in this game. Still the rain falling. Fashini close to the boundary line with Paul Moore. What the ball will be thrown back into play. Out of bounds on the centre wing position with South 13 8 86 to Melbourne 7 10 52. We're about 16 and a half minutes into this third quarter. Ball kicked uh, away that time by Cruz, picked up by Byrne out there for Melbourne. A good hand pass back to Ellingworth. He spent beautifully away from the pack, but put Jarrett under tremendous pressure. Had no hope in the world, but the ball is out of bounds. There's another wrestling match going on out there. Off the ground for Elshaw is uh, off the ground for Melbourne as Elshaw and back on as Batterston. Barry Round got that one, a good one to Evan, but a bad hand pass back to Jarrett. It went between his legs. He couldn't get clear when the umpire's going to ball it up again. Still on the centre wing position. With South 86 points to Melbourne, 52 points. Barry Round didn't want to knock that one. He tried to grab it clear. Still taps it out to the wrong man. Picked up by O'Donnell. A high kick back there to watch that half forward flag. A chance for Johnson to mark. But Moore would beat him for it. That's Paul Moore and Browning going out, but the ball is out of bounds. This time it's about 50 metres around from the Melbourne goal. They badly need one at the moment. They looked OK for about five minutes in this third quarter, but uh, South soon bounced back. Barry Round starting to come back in the game now as the ball goes out to Flower and Tony Morwood. It's Flower running into trouble, tries to control it. Elder can't pick it up. Morwood gets one out there to Browning. He's grabbed, and the umpire said too high, and Browning will take the free kick around about the centre field area. Usually a beautiful kick, this fellow. Should drive it right down. He's looking for a lead. Now he's gone for the long kick. Up there to Robertson Giles. And Giles outmaneuvered him that time, and uh, Robert's not too happy about it. Said, I was pushed out. There's little right again. Got a 15-metre penalty against him. He can't do a thing right at the moment with the umpire. So this brings uh, Robert uh, Giles up to that uh, half-back line. A long kick on. Oh, easy mark dropped by Jarrett that time. Browning pounces on the ball. Cleverly taps it out to Fashini. He threw it out to Browning, and Browning, uh, not Browning, Brown. Brown goes for a short pass out wide to Scott. Scott's on his own. He fell over his own bootlace that time, but he's got time to recover. Gets a hand pass back there to Hansel. But he's pretty clever, this little guy. Takes his time and goes for a long kick, looking for Roberts at the back again, who flew high. Couldn't hold the mark. Smith kicks it along the ground. Plenty of South Melbourne blokes. Finally picked up by Giles. A hand pass over there to Gaunt, and the ball is out of bounds about 30 metres around from the South Melbourne goal um, on the members' side. So it's 13 8, 86 south to uh, Melbourne, 7 10, 52. Keenan, Batterston over the head. And good mark brought in by Wilson, taking it in front of Bruce Jones. O'Sullivan, well caught by Rhys Jones, but he slipped away. Everything's slippery at the moment. The rain's still coming down here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Paul Melbourne juggles it and has been paid. Croswell back on. He replaced Byrne on the interchange bench just a few moments ago. Cruz's high kick lands round about right half forward flank. Crackers couldn't take it. Smith on the bottom. Likewise is Stephen Wright. Round, long handball. Ellingworth misses it. Allender to Greg Smith. Good handball. It won't catch him. Fires at the goal and he's pumped it through for another one. Smith, two goals to him. South Melbourne 14 8, Melbourne 7 10. Well, Greg Smith really finishing that off there, but it was a bad miss, miss by Stephen Smith of Melbourne, who uh, <coughs> let the ball slip right through his fingers and uh, then South recovered. And a quick hand pass from Allender to Greg Smith, who's been uh, since quarter time has become stronger and stronger around the packs. 40 points the difference in favour of the Swans after the ball up. Nobody making much headway. Johnson gets scragged. Free kick for holding the man. And he was looking for a 15-metre penalty. Keaton comes in. Uh, maybe a little bit stupidly because Melbourne has possession. Now it's a 15-metre penalty. Barry Round saying, what did I do? I'm a Brownlow medalist. I don't do anything wrong. Johnson. Punt kick to full forward. Jacko can't take it. Paul Morwood around the boundary line. We'll find Evans. Cruz or went into trouble that time. Three Melbourne players. O'Donnell lost it when tackled by Browning. Push in the back, says the umpire. O'Donnell to take the free kick. Evans looks in a bit of trouble there, Pete. Doesn't look too good, does he, Bob? I don't know what happened there. So he's got knee trouble. He landed rather awkwardly. It looked around about the knee. That would be a very, very bad blow. Let's hope he's okay. He 
Seems to be in a little bit of pain. Short pass to Ellingworth, who's on his own. South of the mound, short down there in defence, so the Swans defence in a little bit of disarray just at present. Ellingworth has the shot at goal. As he comes in from 35 metres out. Going close, and in fact, I think has gone through. He's put it through for four points. Ellingworth taking Melbourne's total to 8, 10, 58, trailing the Swans 14, 8, 92, is it? Or 94? 94. What's that? 46 points, the difference, isn't it? No, it's not 36. Am I right, right? I think it is 92, Pete. <laughs> OK, he's not doing the figures too well here. Bob, as the ball comes back to south again, kick back up to the woods there, half full on an easy mark taken there by Gaunt. Gaunt's kick is across towards centre half forward for Melbourne. In goes Barry Round, a good hand pass, and Cruz takes the ball back there towards the south's half forward line. Oh, well, they all missed sight of that. Uh, Ick missed it completely, finally picked up by Zantuck over to Gaunt. A long kick. Oh, that's a beautiful move for Gaunt, a magnificent mark. He's only about uh, 40 metres out from goal, directly in front. Not the best kick in the world, but he's kicked one so far. There it is, a beautiful mark uh, by uh, young Gordner. Gordner coming in from about 40 metres out, directly in front. That's the kick. And that's a good kick and uh, well deserved. Let's see the score now. 92 south to uh, Melbourne 9 10 64 still within striking distance a difference of 28 points and Bernie Evans limping off the ground let's hope it's not too serious although if it were I dare say he wouldn't even be moving at all and he will be replaced by Wayne Carroll so two quick goals to Melbourne have brought them back into contention here at the Sydney Cricket Ground for the Chateau Cup and of course $10,000 of Channel 7's prize money in the seven spot match Keenan there's the ball again, knocked out by Keenan, and Melbourne swing back into attack, this time through O'Sullivan, back to O'Donnell, long shot for goal, not a bad sort of a kick, he's put it through, and Melbourne are back in business. So Melbourne, now at 10 goals, 10-70 to a South, 14-8-92, a difference of 22 points, can they get back and uh, get into business again, Bobby Skilt? Well, they're certainly playing well at the moment, Lou, uh, Kelly O'Donnell bringing up his second goal there, taking a, a hand pass over the top from Johnson, and uh, Johnson, too, has come back into the play a little bit in these last few moments of play. Three quick goals to Melbourne. They've brightened up the crowd here at the SCG. Keaton missed it. Smith, round over the top. Allender, O'Sullivan, gets clear of Reese Jones, goes for the run, puts it out wide towards the wing, going the long way home. Ellingworth may get there first, although the boundary line could be the winner. Ellingworth keeps it in play, but that only suits Morwood who gets Scrag and will get the free kick on centre field. Paul Morwood driving the Swans into attack. Keenan underneath it, takes the mark. And another South player down. Looks like uh, Morwood as well. And Allender gets dumped likewise. Keenan has a 15 metre penalty, which brings him up to centre field. Tries the short pass. It's effective, taken by O'Sullivan to Flower. Melbourne looking dangerous. Croswell, corner. Couldn't take the mark. Spilt over the line. A throw in 30 metres from the behind post. Tell you what, uh, Pete, Bob, uh, Skilt, uh, Gordon is starting to look a bit dangerous up there at the moment, isn't he? We did mention when he kicked that goal, Lou, that it's quite possible that uh, he would come into the uh, game uh, and show a lot more confidence as we again see Melbourne desperately trying to get a score. It's kicked off the ground by Healy across the face of goal, but no score. Out of bounds on the other side. So once more a throw in, Melbourne throwing everything at the Swans at the moment in the latter stages of the third quarter. We're just about into the time on the period with the scoreboard reading 70 to 92. 22 points the difference. Jacko can't get clear. Carter boots the Swans out of the danger zone. Robbie Flower could have pushed his opponent in the back. That's how the umpire saw it. And it will be a free kick to be taken by Tony Morwood at centre half back. Morwood looks for the short pass, trying to find Scott at the back. Barging his way through, not successful. Out it goes towards Dennis Carroll. Dennis Carroll, long to full forward. Robertson Giles over the boundary line. It bounced about a metre inside. Throw in as we enter the time on period. 22 points the difference in favour of South. And the ball out of bounds in their forward pocket position. About 10 metres around from their goal. And Melbourne well back in this game at the moment. 
They looked as though uh, they were gone. Ball back into play again. Knocked out by Keenan. Over to Elshaw. He's doing pretty well on the ruck, uh, Keenan. As the ball's kicked back there towards the centre of the ground by Elshaw. Out wide. As they go now for Healy to leave his opponent for death, but uh, Browning won't give it. He's grabbed but gets a hand pass back to Reese Jones. Scoops it up nicely, goes for a pass to the wide open spaces and it'll beat them all and out of bounds on South Melbourne's half forward line, about 60 metres around from their goal. The Swans are 14 8 92 to uh, Melbourne 10 10 70. It'll be Allender and uh, Crackers Keenan. Keenan got a beautiful tap out there to Jarrett, as I said before, doing well in the ruck. Ball back towards the centre wing position, pushed out again towards uh, South Melbourne's uh, Morwood. Back it goes now, picked up by Smith, not a great hand pass. Finally, it's picked up by Scott. Another hand pass coming over wide. Oh, he knocked his own mate over nearly for Shetty that time. Tony Moore up towards uh, Roberts and Giles. Both having a great battle and the ball is out of bounds. South Melbourne looking a little bit rattled at the moment. They haven't got that fluency in their game that they did have during the second quarter. Ball back into play again. Right against the point post. Smith in front. Got the tap down. It's dangerous for James. He's put it through. A goal is out. The Swans have got three goals off the ground this quarter, almost in identical fashion, Bob Skilton. Yes, and I don't think that was a good knockdown there. Uh, Melbourne uh, really giving uh, South a chance of coming through and kicking it off the ground. Uh, Ruckman, when they're in that position, must put it wide to uh, towards the, the flank, but in that case, putting it towards goal and Max James kicking his goal. Seven's big league from the Sydney Cricket Ground. 28 points the difference as Scott boots the Swans forward again. They lead by 28 points, as I said, from that goal by Max James. Ick gets ridden into the ground by uh, Stephen Wright. Fashini, long shot at goal. Going goalwards, back for the goal. And Byron looks OK. So Silvio Fashini brings up his first goal for the afternoon and reasserts the supremacy of the Swans, who lead 16-8. 104 to Melbourne, 10, 10, 70. Well, just as we thought Melbourne were getting back into business, the difference was 22 points, two quick goals to the Swans. Yes, and you mentioned before, Lou, how uh, busy Stephen Wright is, and it was Wright who got that ball out to uh, Fashini there, and a very happy for Silvio Fashini. And we see Bernie Evans about to come back onto the field too. Keenan. Swans driven forward by Smith. Giles collides heavily with his opponent tackles Wayne Carroll well the demons get clear through Robbie Flout goes up towards the point of the square Ellingworth to Croswell poor handball by the Tiger he certainly hasn't done much right today Browning good handball on the other other hand to Fashini who looks for Browning again or Cruz is barging his way through big Max Cruz from the half back line in towards full forward James is the flyer underneath is right trying to get it to a teammate in Max James Snapshot at goal by James High towards the goal square. Carroll's there, likewise gone, but he's touched through for one behind. I tell you what, Wayne Carroll could have kicked that off the ground had he recovered a bit quicker than that. Bobby, too, I'm not kidding. So it's South 16 9, 105 to Melbourne 10 10 70. And in Peter's call, he mentioned uh, Max Cruz streaming down from the back line. He's played a wonderful game at centre half back. Very solid. Well, back out there, hasn't had much to do with uh, this is a taking away from uh, Cruz's performance. That's uh, Dennis Carroll with a good mark. He's been a handy player today. Up they go, the pack five. There's a good mark to Tony Moore. He'd only be about uh, 30 metres out from goal directly in front. They certainly make lies for these players too because about <laughs> five minutes ago we said South uh, had lost, uh, you know, their, their, their the brilliance, their momentum, and now they've come back with the vengeance, haven't they? They have. And they're looking good again. This is Tony Moorwood going for his first goal, and they're 16 9, 105 this one's to uh, Melbourne 10 10 70. This is a pretty easy shot directly in front. And there's no doubt about it, it's a goal. So we see uh, this one 17 9, 111 to Melbourne 10 10 70. Now Melbourne are really in the hot set. They've got to pull something out of the bag to win this one. Tony Moore would become the ninth Swan player to score a goal this afternoon. As we see Bernie Evans receiving treatment and mercifully is not a knee. It seems to be calf muscle that perhaps he has strained so that's not nearly as serious back to the center again keenan against barry round keenan got the knock not a good one and the umpires found a free kick it'll go to crackers in the center of the ground well actually uh, keenan's played a fairly good game in the ruck for uh, he's been the best ruckman on the ground no particularly this that. quarter lou he's struck very well ball back there towards court couldn't hold the mark 
pushed out that time by Allingworth over to Jackson. He's been hopeless today. Finally picked up by Wilson, a snap for goal. At the back there, oh, good mark. A great mark to South Melbourne's Brown. South Melbourne defence standing up well to the uh, Melbourne attack at the moment. There's Scott going after, couldn't hold it in time, and the ball is out of bounds. So there'll be a throw in from the centre wing position on that outer side of the ground. The Swans at the moment are 17, 9, 111 to Melbourne 10, 10, 70. And we're at the 31 minute mark of this third quarter. Well, pushed out again. There's a chance now for Healy to have a running shot for goal. Not a bad sort of a kick. I think he may have put it through. He has. Yes. It's Johnson, I think it was. It's a Johnson, yes. Not Johnson, Healy. Healy, not Johnson. Let's get it right again, Peter. Start it, yes. It was not Healy, it was Johnson. Johnson's second goal as we watch it in replay we'll get it right this time it was Johnson <laughs> he wasn't wearing an upside down number either yeah and bad luck with him today haven't we center field 31 minute mark siren due to go very shortly in the third quarter certainly has been a mixed bag in so far as fortunes of both sides concerned right to Tony Morwood straightens up 40 meters out directly in front of goal Giles flies but it's two I think four points that's a quick reply that was more with second goal right on the siren and at three-quarter time the swans 18-9 117 leading melbourne 11 10 76. final quarter 117 to 76 in favor of the swans barry round mammoth punch out to start proceedings in the final quarter missed down there by ellingworth and pouncing on top of him was dennis carroll and he has infringed the free kick going to the melbourne player to Batterston, who started so very well in the first quarter. Ick drives the Demons forward to their centre half forward position. It's knocked away from Stephen Smith. Well tackled by Carter. Shot at goal by Smith is off target, out of bounds on the full. And the penalty will go to the Swans to be taken by Browning. Mark Browning in the back pocket. Browning towards the outer side of the ground. Flower making position to receive it well. Kicks it back whence it came. It's high. Cruz underneath it. Punches it clear. Elshaw. Ackley. Johnson. Wilson straightens up. Has a flying shot at goal. Has put it through, I think, for the first goal of the final term. Brian Wilson making no mistake from 30 metres out. And a badly needed goal to the Demons. 12 10 82 to 18 9, 117. Well, as you said, Peter, badly needed goal. And uh, I noticed that Jackson is off the ground. Uh, Jackson on the interchange bench. Stephen Smith going to centre half forward. David Cordner, uh, Smith, Smith to full forward. David Cordner to centre half forward. There's the centre bounce again. Knocked out by Keenan. A good one. And uh, ball driven down to the Melbourne's attacking zone by Zantuck. Coming out the middle is Wilson. Well smothered, but couldn't gather the ball up. Morwood goes after it. But he couldn't pick it up. Neither could Carroll. Grabbed by Morwood again. Gets a hand pass out. Kicked off the ground that time by Batterston. Out towards the boundary line and it's out of bounds on the centre wing position. 35 points the difference now. Still a big margin to pick up for Melbourne. But uh, they're not in a hopeless position. Keenan and uh, Brown. Keenan got the second tap that time. Down to Flower. He's clear. A hand pass over to Gaunt. Well scooped in that time as he drives the ball back. Better watch the centre half forward. Possess the chance for Melbourne now. Al Shaw's only got to pick this up. It'll be a goal. And it's 29 points the difference there. A quick goal coming from Melbourne there through Elshaw. Good play on the part of Melbourne. And, of course, there's only 29 points the difference. So the Swans are, are now, uh, let's see their score. 18 goals, 9, 117 to Melbourne, 13, 10, 88. Billy Evans back onto the field for the Swans. So that good that's good news for them. Set up... 29 points the difference and Melbourne back in business again. There's the centre bounce. Up she goes. Barry Round grabs this one, but it's not a good kick. Out there, Gaunt goes for the punch. Picked up by Scott. A left foot and out towards the Swans full forward zone. Now Roberts got his hands with Giles trying to claim them up, but they pounce on him. Roberts is there, won't give up. And the umpire's going to board up about 10 metres out from the uh, south goal. South are 18-9, 117 to Melbourne, 13-10-88. 
So it's 29 points the difference. Can Melbourne get back in this as more with Steph Fagal? Not a bad sort of a kick, but it's through for one point. So it's 30 points the difference now in favour of the Swans. Not even five goals the difference. 118 to 88. Number four is Giles for the Demons. And I don't think he'll be kicking in with a boot like that. Coswell does the job for him. Two Swans players nearly spoiled each other. That was Carroll and Tony Morwood. Tony Morwood has the mark. Coswell flies from the back. Right. Collides with it. Who's caught with the ball? Umpire saw says it was held to him. And there will be a ball up to take place about 15 metres out from goal. South Melbourne at attack. Final quarter in its early stages. Keenan. Allender. Allender gets scragged by Batterson. Going through very solidly as Gaunt. Just about threw it out to crack as Keenan, who dropped it like a hot spot. To Stephen Ick. Ball cleared. Johnson. Free kick going to the Swans. And it will be taken by Mark Browning on the centre wing position on the other side of the ground. Still this light rain coming down. It's not as heavy as it was in the latter stages of the third quarter, but nevertheless it's still there. Ball hits the deck taken by Ellingworth. In fact, he got a push in the back. And so it will be a demon free kick to be taken by the player that I nominated. Ellingworth just adjacent to the square. I can see Allender in trouble too. Might be a touch of cramp. Giles is the person without the boot. So he won't be running on too far. Zanta calling for it. He runs past. He's gone for a short pass anyway. Round in front. Too tall. Marks easily out of Batterston. Round to Max Cruz, streaming downfield again. Long kick by Cruz into the forward pocket. In fact, it's too long. Over the line of the fall. The penalty going Melbourne's way, and it will be taken by Shane Zanta. Former North End South player. And Alan is still in trouble. It might be a touch more than the cramp. Let's hope that's just what it is, though. Some cramp. Round at the back. The big fist gets the ball back to ground. Ball driven away by Alan Jarrett. Jarrett. Uh, Lands the ball round about the centre wing position. The big pack of players down there. It comes out towards Carroll again, or Danaher it is, Anthony Danaher. And in the meantime, the umpire has decided to ball it up, and that ball up to take place on the centre wing. Out there on that centre wing position, the ball up. It'll be Barry Round against uh, Peter Keenan. Better known as Crackers. He's done pretty well, particularly in that third quarter. Looks like a knee for Allender. Bit of bad luck. The ball comes down out of Browning. Browning gets a hand pass back to Faschini. His kick is back towards the south half forward line, but in the way there is Zantuck to take a good mark in defence. Zantuck, 88 points uh, Melbourne to the Swans, 118 points. The ball back now towards the centre half forward position for uh, Melbourne. Oh, good mark to court. Wanted to take a couple of screams that are going to be in this game now. Ball kicked up there towards the uh, full forward zone. Good mark to Carter in defence down there in the back pocket. 30 points the difference at the moment in favour of South Melbourne. And the Melbourne still have a chance, still plenty of time to go in this last quarter. We're into it by about five and a half minutes. Keenan could mark that. Batterson gets a hurried kick back towards the forward pocket. Tapped out by Smith, still juggling the ball. Gets it over here now to Johnson. Back to uh, Wilson. The goal coming up. Yes! Oh, they're back in business. 24 points to the difference. The score. Melbourne 14 10 94 to South Melbourne 18 10 118. Full marks to Melbourne as we see uh, Stephen Elder on the ground there watching now on the replay as Batterson puts the ball forward. Stephen Smith could possibly have been given a free kick there but he tapped it out well to uh, Healy who gave the hand pass across to Wilson and Wilson has been one of Melbourne's better players right throughout the day that time bringing up his second goal. Stephen Allen is still in all sorts of trouble. It's four goals the difference in the final quarter. Seventh big lead from the Sydney cricket ground. And this match developing into what could be a thriller. Going forward is Evans. The Swans up towards left half forward. They haven't been at attack for a while. Anningworth drives the ball well clear. The Demons finishing the better side. 34 is Cruz on the boundary line to Paul Morwood. Kicks the ball back towards the centre wing position. High flyer is Anningworth. Trying to crash his way through and past Smith. They go straight to Barry Round. Trying to steady the South Melbourne side. Swans into attack again. Up to half forward. Free kick against Roberts, I think. Could be going to Giles. And Peter Giles will take the free kick. The handball is to Tiger. That's Brent Croswell. 
Wilson must agree with Bob Skilton has put in four very good quarters and got a push in the back for his trouble from Browning Danaher Batterston caught and seemed to drop the ball but the umpire says play on Nackley does a cartwheel over the top of both of those players umpire Rowan Sores has decided to ball it up Stephen Amander being assisted off the ground with what does appear to be some sort of a serious injury it looks like a knee I'm not a medical expert but it doesn't look good news free kick going to the Demons and I think Cordner is the recipient Cordner's kicked a couple of goals he's kicking this afternoon a lot better than it was on Tuesday night Smith flies no mark didn't hold it long enough Max Cruz hurries the ball towards the boundary line and it will be thrown into play about 15 meters from the behind post in the final term it's 94 to 118 and even four goals the difference in favor of the swans but melbourne finishing the better brown taps it down healy gets it out only to be taken by Danaher, but he didn't take it very far did he jarrett trying to get it out through handball not successful the ball up about 25 meters out uh, from the melbourne goal towards their forward pocket position 24 points the difference at melbourne to attacking a smith got that but round uh, kick is smothered by smith again Finally, Round gets a hand pass out, punched away by uh, by Jarrett. Another stack up there, but the umpire's found a, a free kick to clear up the mess down there, and the free kick will go there to South Melbourne. Carter, Carter with a hand pass over to Paul Moore. He's got an open run here. He takes advantage of it, lets the ball fly from centre half back. Croswell goes for the punch. It's successful. It's about the first right thing he's done all day. Kicked up there by Flower. Finally forced out again. Healy goes down. They pile on top of uh, the South Melbourne guy, uh, Browning. There's little Patterson going, but he's upended. And the ball is finally forced out there to, uh, to O'Donnell. But I think it, no, it's marked right on the line by Evans. Down there in the back pocket. And South Melbourne under plenty of pressure at the moment. 24 points the difference. Back fly. Knocked out by Flower. Taps the ball on over to Ellingworth. He's caught. Gets on a hand pass to O'Donnell. A bad one looking there for Al Sean. The ball is out of bounds. The Swans, 18 10, 118 to uh, Melbourne, 14 10, 94, and rain starting to pelt down at the moment. The Sydney Cricket Ground. Barassi up there on the box. Must think his chances took a uh, side, still got a chance. Plenty of scrambly play, and uh, the umpire will ball it up on uh, the Melbourne half four line, about 55 metres out from the goal. Knocked out by Round. Picked up that by uh, oh. <laughs> Young, it was finally taken away by Carroll. Shot down there towards uh, Icky, drops the mark, Scott goes down, kicked off the ground by Crosby. There's a go for Reese Jones, kicks the ball up towards the full forward position, a race between Giles and Robert, but uh, Giles plays it safe and forces it through for one point. So it's 25 points the difference. We see uh, Melbourne 14 10 94 to the Swans 18 11 119. Ball back into play, Moore in front, Ellingworth right beside him, Tony Moore with breaks clear, they've both got pace, these guys kick off target through for one behind to the Swans to take their total to 18-12 that's no overture 120 Melbourne 14-10-94 still this drizzly rain but no wind as we wait the ball to get uh, driven back into play Melbourne finishing the better but the Swans standing firm Zantac Keaton and Round, James over the top of both of them, no mark paid to anybody. Round, back to James with the handball. Right in front, has it knocked away by Zantuck. Machini, free kick to the Swans rover, Stephen Wright. Who's kicked two goals so far and roved pretty intelligently right throughout the match. Well, a goal here would certainly make things, I would reckon, pretty safe for the Swans. It's a fair way out. It's going close, Roberts at the back, Giles in front, touched through for a point, I think, yes it has been. And so another minor score to the Swans takes their tally along in the final quarter to 18-13, 1-2-1, and Melbourne 14-10-94. Ball back into play again, Keenan in front, round behind, they've had a great duel all day. Maybe Keenan's just shaded him at the bounces, getting pushed over was right, flower behind him, umpire Kevin Smith has decided to ball it up. And the ball up will take place at centre half forward for the Swans. Keenan over the top looks for Flower. James is right there with him. Elshaw comes in for the assist. Ellingworth, he's lifted his game in the final term. Croswell off the side of the boot. Too long for Morwood. 
Jared Healy is on centre wing. Healy puts it high towards the centre half forward position. Out comes Stephen Smith. Oh. He's a good kick too, this guy. Hasn't scored a goal because he started in defence. Brassi has swung into the forward line. Stephen Smith from the centre half forward position, kicking to the hill in goal. It's not a bad kick, he's put it through. Stephen Smith's first goal for the Demons. And the scores. The Swans, 18-13, 121, leading Melbourne, 15-10, 100 points. And we've played about 14 and a half minutes into this uh, last quarter. Melbourne still in there with a chance. There's the mark in replay. It's a good mark by uh, Smith. Particularly in these conditions, Lou. Yes. He used his body well. Set a bounce again. Crackers Keenan dominating the ruck as he gets the ball out. Right's collared by Crackers and the umpire said play on it. Comes back again. Forced down to O'Donnell. Melbourne swing back and attack and a mark to Healy. By Gully a goal. He said play on. He's in a bit of trouble as he gets a hand pass back to Ellingworth. He's in trouble too. He runs into three South Melbourne players. Browning's there. Lost sight of it. Finally it comes back to Healy. Throw to the ground to get a free kick. Bang how he didn't have the ball that time. So Healy to send them back into attack. Drives it well up there. There's a chance for uh, Patterson. He got too uh, far under it. Picked up by Carter. Good dashing play by the Swans fullback. A long kick. They all stood there and watched that gaunt come out of bad hand pass. Picked up by James. Another one of the wide open spines as it's dangerous. And finally it's driven up there by O'Sullivan. There's a go now. And Mark the Johnson. And they're back in business, Melbourne. He's only about 35 metres out from goal directly in front. He's already kicked two goals. Jackson's been taken off the ground uh, for uh, Melbourne. Only had one touch and kicked a goal. From a free kick, there's another goal to Melbourne. Can they come back? So the score, Melbourne, 16-10, 106 to South. 18-13, 121, 15 points the difference, and we're approaching the 15-minute mark of this last quarter. But we've played a tick more, Lou. We started our clock a little bit late, so I think it could be uh, probably even closer to uh, an 18 or 19-minute mark. There's Ricky Quaid, Swans coach on the left. I think it's 15 and a half. Final term from the SCG. Keenan, Evans, caught by Wilson. Reese Jones's handball is high to Browning. The Swans into attack to half forward. They need to go on here to consolidate. O'Donnell, Ellingworth, well smothered. That was well done by Dennis Carroll. Chipping in is Wayne Carroll. And gets clear. Oh, beautiful ball by Carroll. Goes for the pass. Splendid football. Max James, 35 metres out. Maybe a little bit more. Tell you what, Pete, the crowd are pretty vocal too, aren't they? They are indeed, getting right behind them. Good atmosphere, Lou. Even though it's not a large crowd. Good for the players to play on. And that's a superb kick by James. Just off target. Through for one point. When the Swans badly needed a goal to consolidate their position. The scores, Melbourne 16-10. That's 106. The Swans 18-14, 122. As we wait the kick in. What an exciting finish to this opening match in Sydney for season 1982. Round, two hands to it, not paid by the umpire. Smith tries to get clear. High to Keenan. Flower, good handball. The Demons on the run again. Now it goes to O'Sullivan. High up towards full forward. Smith in front. Has it knocked away from him. Good back up by Healy. Twist and turn. Swings it goal on its way through. Is it? I think so. One point. <laughs> Whoa. 14, 122 to 16, 11, 107. Melbourne coming back. Have they time? 15 points the difference, and we're approaching the 18-minute mark of this, the last quarter. Still plenty of time for Melbourne if they're good enough. But by golly, they're playing better football now, Bob. Playing a lot better, Lou, and uh, they really got the run on. I think uh, South a little bit tired from the way they went about it early, and I think uh, they might have been a bit lucky there. Keenan looking for a free kick as the uh, Hounsell comes on in place of Reese Jones. Well driven up there now towards the centre of the ground. Browning breaks clear for the Swans. Goes for a beautiful pass. It's a ripper. And what a mark. What a magnificent pass on the part of Browning that time. And of course, an equally as good a mark. That's uh, Roberts to take the mark and going for goal number five. That was a ripper, Bob, that pass. Yes, he's kicking the superb, isn't he? I don't know about it now. Roberts, this is a vital goal for uh, South because they only lead by 15 points and Melbourne are coming with a run. 
See what he can do with it. Going for goal number five. Oh, he may have hooked that for one point, so it's 16 points the difference now. Melbourne still hanging in there. I tell you what, I'm terribly surprised at the crowd. They're really getting behind this match, aren't they? They're really they were uh, down. even vocal in the Little League match at half time, Lou. So we may have a, a real Sydney crowd following uh, Australian football. Oh, great mark the very round. He's been a bit quiet today, but he's coming good now and playing a real captain's game. I think he's got the cramp. Look at Crackers Keenan. Not letting him get out of his sight. Barry Rowd at centre half forward. And they lead by 16 points at the moment, South. And they go for a long kick. Roberts and uh, Croswell. Oh, it's a good mark to James. Umpire didn't pay that. O'Sullivan clears it away from the danger zone. Johnson out there on his own. He fumbled it. But he's got time to pick it up. Goes for a kick around that half forward line. Flying high was caught. And Dan Danaher knocked him to the gown. Recovered better, a hand pass, now over to Browning, he's clear, having a look around, he's got plenty of time to have a run and make a long kick, and that's what it is, right up there towards the goals, players fly, punched away by James that time by mistake, finally picked up by Gaunt, he goes for a long kick out to the wide open spaces, looking there for Johnson on the line, Johnson taps it out to the wrong man, Evans is there, now South they go back into attack with a short pass. There's a chance here now uh, for uh, Faschini to go for a pass. It's a good, no, it's too long. Too long that time for James. Kicked off the ground by Croswell. Not one of the best things he's ever done. He hasn't played that well today as the ball goes out of bounds, but at least it's out of trouble for the moment. Well, Croswell uh, probably took the easy way out, but it certainly was effective. It got it a long way from the goals with these wide pockets here at the Sydney Cricket Ground, and hence it will be thrown in. Keenan and James free kick has been given Packers takes it One of the great comedians of the game although he's not smiling at the moment just over the center wing position Cortner. swings Melbourne into attack Smith flies whistle has gone free kick in the back Smith has it Goal to make it 10 points the difference, Pete. I'll tell you what, it would be a real nail-biting finish then, Lou, wouldn't it? You could almost uh, have even money at 10 points the difference because Melbourne coming home very, very strongly. Off the oh. side of the boot. Just tried for that little bit of extra distance and put it out of bounds. The penalty will be taken by the Swans and taking it will be Anthony Danaher. Danaher right in the back pocket next to the behind post. Around about 20 minutes gone in the final quarter. Denneher gets as much distance as possible. Keenan and round again. At the back is Morwood. Dennis Carroll high towards the centre circle. Ball hits the ground. Gaunt will be first to get there first. Zantuck. Tries the short one. Paul Morwood covers it well. Gives it to Ackley. Caught by Healy, but he gets his kick into his credit. Out wide it goes to Bernie Evans, who's recovered from that knock he got earlier on the uh, on the leg. Oh, a fine mark taken by Stephen Eck, who plays on and gets caught. Gets his kick into his credit. Mark missed out there, taken by Evans once more. Evans to round, put him under the hammer. Round, long hand ball, Ackley takes it. Ackley from half forward, tremendous punt. Up towards full forward, in the road, is Giles and takes the mark in front of John Roberts. The handball is effective, out towards Gaunt. That is out of bounds on the full and the chance for the Swans. The Pen B free kick will be taken down there by Colin Hounsell, who is at right half forward, but a long way from goal, Lou. 22 points the difference. Well, actually, 16 points the difference at the 22 minute mark, I was trying to say. It's certainly starting to be a very exciting game as the ball gets back there towards the full forward position. Off the top of the pack, cleared away by Alshaw, back towards uh, centre half back at the loop of about four players then. Has a go for Smith. He's well caught by. Uh, by Fravely, they have pushed him in the back. The umpire says yes. A free kick to Smith out there on the edge of the square. Doesn't waste any time. Quickly plays on. Drives it up there looking for Roberts, but he's well surrounded. Punched out by Gaunt. There's a go for Roberts now. He's caught. Finally going after Fashini. It's not the goal. And that may be the end for Melbourne. So it's uh, South. 15, 129 to Melbourne, 16, 11, 107. Well, Silvio Faschini bringing up his second goal there with a nice piece of roving. And the fans here were looking for the mark uh, by John Roberts. And uh, watching it in replay, it could uh, easily have been paid. But it matters not to South anyway because uh, Faschini, a, a fine piece of roving and a quick goal. 22 points the difference now in favour of South. Back to the centre. 
round against Keenan. Keenan got that down, but not a good one. So they stack up there. Al Shaw's grab didn't have the ball, and it'll take a free cut, kick and a chance down to put uh, South and back into attack. So it'll be uh, Al Shaw with a long kick down there towards uh, Stephen Phillips. Uh, Phillips, uh, Stephen Smith. The ball finally comes down there now. Jared has a snap for goal and through uh, and uh, out of bounds. He goes around that guy. Of course he does. Throw it in the forward pocket. Melbourne in attack. Smith with Barry round. They both miss it. The backhander from Browning sees the ball safely over the line. Just wide of Stephen Smith. And again, it will be thrown back into play. This time just a little bit further around from the behind post. Just on the 24-minute mark. Final quarter. Time running out for the Demons. The Swans look like recording a first-up win and taking home the Chateau Cup and $10,000 of Channel 7's prize money. Browning again. In the road, Keenan missed the mark, backing up is Gaunt. Scott is there, Robbie Flower is there for Melbourne and gets there first, gives it back to Crackers. Keenan's kick. Oh, at the back is Max Cruz. Flew very high. Ja uh, Jarrett, Healy, over to Brian Wilson, who steadies and shoots for goal, and he's off target. Threw for one behind to Melbourne when they badly needed a goal in the dying stages of the match. 16-12, 108 to 19-15, 1-2-9. That's the scoreboard. As we await Ackley to bring the ball back into play. 129 to 108. Time out, of course, being added while Ackley gets the ball until he kicks it out. Looking for Danaher. Jarrett punches it clear and over the boundary line where once again it will be thrown back into play 129 to 108 in favor of the sydney swans they look like being ten thousand dollars richer for the afternoon evans trying to get clear caught and that's scott underneath all that jarrett goes for the handball o'donnell oh caught him at a mile in the air but couldn't complete the mark Paul Morwood backing up well for the Swans, drives them out of the danger zone, and the mark on the half back line has been brought in by Kelly O'Donnell, or half forward if you're a Melbourne supporter. Kelly O'Donnell, right half forward, great grab, he's gone for a short pass, it's intercepted, Dennis Carroll, half forward for the Swans. Zantuck goes wide, Gaunt could be able to get there first, Scott leading in the race for it now. Scott taps it out, got one high, looking for a free kick, and I think has received it from the umpire. And Scott to take the free between the right half forward flank and centre wing position. Swings the Swans into attack again. Oh, it's a tremendous grab brought in by Wayne Carroll. Look at that in replay. What a mark. There's no doubt in that one. Ooh, very close to mark of the day. Wayne Carroll has the chance to sew up the match for the Swans. If it isn't already sewn up, he would be about 35 metres out from goal and on a slight angle. At the 25-minute mark, or a little bit over, there's the kick by Wayne Carroll, and it's a good one. It's a goal. I think it may have hit the post. Well, that was a bit of bad luck. But it doesn't matter, I would say, that uh, South have got this game well won now. They've settled down again. The ball back out there towards Round and Keenan. Keenan got the tap down. Going up was Ackley. Intercepted that time by Hansel. A hand pass coming back here now. A chance uh, for Carroll again to make a match for that last shot. And this time I think it's OK. Yes, a goal. He directed his mistake from the hall. So it's a goal to South. So South moved to 20 goals, 16-136. Sixteen, twelve, one hundred and eight, Melbourne. Well, on replay, we see Wayne Carroll, who uh, made amends for his previous miss, walks beautifully, gets around, straightens up, and uh, makes no mistake at all about that one after previously hitting the post. Uh, Carroll, a handy player, has the, has the ability to come on and play either on a flank or a key position. And with Allender going off the ground, uh, Callender has been a uh, not Callender, uh, <laughs> Carroll has been a worthy replacement. Santa bounce again, and as Peter said before. South have got that 10,000 from Channel 7 well sewn up now. Knocked out by Brown. Got his second win. Back it goes to Gaunt. And Melbourne swing back into attack. Beats Elshaw and his opponent that time back towards Paul Moore. He brushes it. 
A little uh, Wilson off on the umpire's found a free kick to Paul Morwood down there in the back bucket. South of 20 goals, 16, 136 to Melbourne, 16, 12, 108. Running on Paul Morwood. Just going through the motions now, South. Oh, Barry Round's got that one. Right. I said before, really playing a captain's game now. Set me inside down. We'll be happy players tonight at the uh, La Lady Fairfax uh, Garden Party. Ron Barassi and Mike Willisey. Ball out there towards the wing position. Chance now for South to get clear. Hand pass coming out there to Reese Jones. Back on the ground. Goes for a long kick towards uh, Roberts. Put him out of position that time. It could have been a free kick. But Giles gets it back there to Zantak. The ball cleared out towards that half back line for Melbourne. And it beats the pack and it's out of bounds about 60 metres around from the south goal. South at the moment, 136 points to Melbourne, 108. Ball back into play. Knocked down there to Batterston. A bad hand pass. Intercepted that time by Dennis Campbell. He's played a fair game. Over to Warwick Jones. Back there to Smith. Gets his kick back there over the top of Zantuck. Picked up by Fashini. A snap for goal. Not a bad sort of a kick. And oh, nearly a mark there but uh, to Scott, but finally forced through by uh, Gorn for a point. So uh, South move on to 20 goals, 17, 137 to Melbourne, 16, 12, 108. And we're approaching the 29-minute mark of this, the last quarter. Ball back into play, straight up the centre of the ground. Wilson for Melbourne. And there's the siren. South Melbourne have won the match. The Swans have won the match, whichever way you like it. They've won $10,000 and they've won the Shadow Cup. The final scores, the Swans, 20 goals, 17, 137. Defeating Melbourne, 16, 12, 108. Crackers Keenan not looking too happy coming off the ground, but Crackers couldn't uh, be blamed for the uh, Melbourne loss because he played a fair game today, uh, uh, Bobby. No, he certainly tried his heart out, Lou, um, but uh, it was a good win by South, uh, a good team effort, but they did fall away a little bit in that last quarter with Melbourne kicking five goals, two to two goals, eight. But uh, overall, uh, full marks uh, is one that they desperately had to win, and there was a lot more pressure on them. Um, because of that, uh, so, you know, it was probably shown in Barry Round's form. Uh, but uh, Round did lift himself in that last quarter and, um, you know, took some fine marks and uh, did play a, a captain's game in the, in the last term. Uh, Rod Carter coming off the ground there, did a wonderful job to uh, hold uh, Jackson to only one kick and force uh, um, Barassi to take uh, Jackson off the ground at uh, three-quarter time. But it was an overall, it was a, a good team effort by the South Melbourne side. The win set up by their smaller players. Right, we'll take this break and we'll check the goal kickers and the statistics in just a moment. 